Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today. Uh, it's supposed to yesterday I received a challenge from a Muslim scholar, and I was wondering should I come online or I should not? Because you know that this is involved career ending. It's very hard to debate someone he is a scholar. I mean, do you know what a scholar mean? Do you have an idea? It means somebody can give you answers. Hmm. As I remember, Allah Himself He confirmed that He Himself He have no answer. Isn't it the Quran says chapter five verse one o one? Ask no questions. So today we are going to invite this scholar to call us if he can keep his words. We will see if they meant what to say or they meant what they said. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. You know, they claim they can answer, they claim, etc. But my experience is not what they claim. They some say something, and what happened is the opposite. Now, today our topic is about science in Islam. As Muslims, they claim very much that Islam is a religion of science, which I find it the very the most funny, stupid religion ever. You know, some sometimes people they say to me, Why you use the word stupid too much? I mean, I have to. I have to. If you see the website in the front of us, look the Muslims, what they have. Uh, zoology, biology, geology, chemistry, physics, cosmology, all of this is in the Quran. Ugh. I mean, that's really amazing. All of this is in the Quran. My friend, why I want to go to school? Why even, why Muslims they go to see a doctor? Allah, you know, Muhammad, he described for us two medicine, honey and camel urine. And based of this, you know, we do not need really doctors and you do not need to go to hospitals and you do not need surgery, just camel urine and uh, honey and you're done. Oh, for, don't forget, ajwa, ajwa. Uh, you know, uh, uh, as long as I remember the Ajwa, uh, once a Muslim, you know, he was talking about that the scientists, they discover that if you eat palm date, that will ease your birth. Hmm? And they say, do you know the Quran mentioned that? Really? Yeah, the Quran mentioned that. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Where the Quran mentioned that, my friend? You know, sometimes when I read <coughs> uh, when I read Muslims' claims, I cannot hold myself from laughing. They say to you here as an example, chapter 19, verse number 23. And they will show you an article written by a doctor that it says that if you eat palm date, that will ease your birth. Uh, okay, and what does that have to do with the Quran? They say, look, the Quran says that when Mary, she wanted to give birth, uh, Allah, he told her to shake the palm date tree so the fruit will come down and she will eat it. 
Mm. But in the article, it says that if you eat every day for the last uh, 11 months, that can ease your uh, birth giving. Here, uh, Mary, she is eating the date uh, not 10 months before she was giving birth. It was in the moment when she is uh, uh, you know, uh, she she gave birth already, or in the stage of giving birth, where it's like in the moment, the same moment, Allah told her, shake, hmm? shake the tree and eat. Hmm. Here I find it very funny and very stupid because how a woman can shake a palm day tree? I mean, and she's a brunette. I challenge any Muslims, like I want you 10, 10, 10 men, powerful men, strong men. To shake a palm tree and bring the date down that is the most stupid statement ever secondly Mary here she is obviously giving birth in this moment not 10 months ago so the Muslims and this is the only food and by the way what 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 uh, you see in movies sometimes Christians they make movies they show you that uh, in Jerusalem, there's palm tree. My friend, go to Jerusalem. Do you see palm tree? Those palm tree, if you see them now, those are in, in, implemented as something new as for decoration. Jerusalem is not a desert. What palm tree? There's no palm tree. Bethlehem is not a it's not a desert. There's no palm trees. So what palm trees? So the Quran is speaking about a woman who is giving birth in the desert, and he do not know how Jerusalem looked like and how Bethlehem looked like imaginary like okay we are Bedouin so and Jesus he was born in this area so all the area is Bedouin and they must have the palm tree and they are eating palm tree if you say she shake the olive tree I will believe it orange tree I will believe it uh, I mean apple tree etc whatever tree but palm tree Not only you cannot shake the palm tree, there is no palm tree. Same time, when the Muslim they make an article, try to make something out of it. If Mary she gave birth already, or she is now giving birth, what is the date will do? So they try to mix between an, a scient, a scientist, a scientific study saying if you eat, you know, for the last 10 months, 11 months, every day, few pound, few, not like don't eat two kilograms, that might ease your birth. But not somebody eat date five minutes or when she is doing giving birth. So this is how the Muslim always try to find a miracle in the Quran, but they cannot find it. And here, you know, we find something really funny and weird. When Mary, she uh, she gave birth to Jesus, she heard Jesus speaking from underneath of her. What he said to her. You will see that the verses confirm that this is after she gave birth to Jesus, not before. Read with me. Allah inspire her to sh you know to shake. She sit next to the uh, palm tree, and then a voice underneath of her, and this is Jesus, which means already she gave birth to Jesus. So you see here how they try to fabricate, and they lie. Supposedly we will eat the date before we give birth, not after giving birth. So. And we have to eat it like for a, 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 almost a year before, every day, every day. If you are a Brit, like me, like since you learn you are a Brit, uh if you are a person who eat palm date for the last year, not even the date when you are Bretnet, even before, that might ease your uh, uh, giving birth. And they explain because uh, date of fruits, etc., contain certain material or whatever that will make it easier for the women to, to give birth. 
but you will notice here that when she sit next to the tree she heard a voice down from beneath and the voice saying to her shake shake the trunk of the tree okay question to the muslims who is the voice was speaking from underneath of her either you tell me that allah was underneath of her or you say to me that this is supposedly isa any muslim do we have any muslim would like to call my skype is open she gave birth already and she heard a voice saying shake the palm tree by the way look like middle eastern women are are very strong i think somebody used to go to the gym a lot to shake the palm tree a woman she is just deliver a baby she is shaking a palm tree In case you do not know what palm tree look like, let me remind you, please. Hold on. I mean, it's always very easy to shake the palm tree. Extremely easy. All right. Let us open. All right. I'm just trying to find you an idea. I'm looking for a tree now. Okay. Uh, If any one of you live in an area where is palm tree, my friend, I want you to go and shake it. Please do me a favor. Take a video if you can. Make a video of yourself shaking the palm tree. I want to see that happening. I want to see how in the world a woman she is shaking the palm tree. Okay. Especially palm tree, the one because there's some palm trees, by the way. They are decoration. They are not. Uh, they are not really palm tree for fruits. They are like from the same family, but they are not uh, the one we are. You know what? Let me search for palm tree in Saudi Arabia. Palm tree, palm tree, Saudi. All right. All right. Perfect. Perfect. We found one. So this is a palm tree. It's almost like maybe 20, uh, maybe 15, 20 meter height. Uh, and this is the guy next down. Do you see the guy here? Do you see the guy? Look how high the tree is. And supposedly Mary, she is going to shake this tree. Obviously you can do. I don't know if this is real. Is that real? Look, look weird, this tree. Let us see something else. Let us see something else. Palm tree, yeah? Huh? You want to shake the palm tree? Look at this guy. This guy, he is going all the way up to the tree. And not only that, even when you reach up, it's very hard to cut that branch, in case you do not know. You have to use a very sharp material to take it down. So there is no way in the world you can shake it and make the palm date fill down. It's a very heavy duty tree, very strong, very high. In the same time, it doesn't matter how much you shake it, there's nothing will fill down. Actually, if you cut the branch, which is where, where the fruit is hanged up, you can carry the fruits for a long time and the fruit will never fall down. How in the world, Mary, she was able to shake this tree? And why this guy is going up to the tree if he can shake it, man? 
I mean, are you stupid or what? Shake it. You are risking your life. While you can shake it? What's wrong with this guy? I mean, there's no education in this world. Did you, didn't you read the Quran? If Mary can shake the tree, why you don't shake the tree? What an idiot. Shame on you. Look at this guy too. Look at this guy. I mean, what's wrong with people? Just shake it, man. Why, why you don't shake it? It's very easy. Actually, once, you know, once I hit the tree, that palm tree with my finger, the, the palm tree broke. It's very easy. I, I know a friend, this is a, 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 a true story, a, 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 a friend from, from Saudi Arabia, he sneezed and the tree fell down. Very, very, very easy. The, 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 a true story. Just shake it. Look, look, they are using a truck here now. I mean, you are using truck. Are you kidding me? You are using a truck, high truck, because it's like 30 meter high. Uh, you are using truck. Shake it, man. What's wrong with you? It's like they are fixing the light of very high uh, building or something, man. Why are you doing that? I mean, honestly, people, they need education. So Mary, she did shake the tree. After a voice, she heard speaking from underneath of her. Who is the Muslim when I tell us who is the voice and who is talking? Here after that, you see something very stupid in the verse after. Anyone notice with me what is stupid in this verse? Let us see who of you is very sharp. Who of you notice something stupid in the highlighted verse? I like this website actually. When you click at the verse, it's highlighted. Anyone notice with me something stupid here in the story? Who noticed? Anyone notice, especially Muslims? Who is a Muslim he noticed something real here? Yeah, fast, but fast from what? From talking, right? How you just said to her, fast from talking, but he's saying to them, to them, say, say, I am fasting from talking. How in the world she is fasting from talking and she will say to them, say to them, you see the translation here is not coming accurate. They are trying to hide the stupidity. Here in Arabic it says, فَقُولِي إِنِّي نَذَرْتُ لِلرَّحْمَنِ صَوْمًا say, say that I pledge uh, uh, fasting to Ar-Rahman. I will not talk no more. But she just so she just talk. Let us change the translation to show you the stupidity and why the Muslim tried to cover the poo-poo of the Quran. We go to Shakir. Do you see it? Say, surely I have food to fast from talking. How you are fasting from talking and you are talking? Hello? Hello? How she is, she pledged to Allah that she will not talk, and she said to them, and Allah said to her, say to them, I am fasting from talking. You just, you just broke your oath. Hmm? Guys, don't talk to me. I promise today I will not talk, okay? And I say to you, I will not talk. Uh, Christian Prince, you are talking right now. Oh uh, no, I uh, I can say I will not talk, but still I'm not really talking. Hmm. Shall we continue? I mean, the poop will never stop. Hmm. 
And then Mary, she carried her baby. And she came to her family. And her family or her people, they said to her, Oh, I see the translation is something really stupid. Look, you have done a strange thing. What is that strange thing? I mean, have you ever heard of it? Says here in Arabic, what shayan fariya became a strange thing? I mean, those Muslim Muslims, when they make translation, it's like like you are like they are asking somebody from Hulunulu to translate the Quran. It cannot be a person who knows Arabic translating. What those people are doing? It's a strange uh, do, look, We have to change the translator every few sentence to find maybe some of them. You have come with amazing thing. Look at this idiot. Amazing thing. Fariya is amazing thing. Oh man. You did something disgusting, became amazing. In Arabic, it says you did something very bad because suppose she have a baby and she don't have a husband. Now they are saying to her, you came and you have an amazing thing. This is why I say when you learn Islam from the Muslim translation, you learn poo-poo. Let us say you are a person don't speak Arabic, and now you want to learn your religion. You are a Muslim, huh? And you want to read this verse. Okay, it says here the people they said to her, "You did something amazing." Since when a woman, if she get a breathed without a husband, that is amazing. Any Abdul? I wonder how. I wonder why. When I speak to Muslims, they say to me goodbye, and all what I can see something amazing around me they have no idea what to say me uh, this is really amazing that's really amazing so beautiful change the translator from yusuf ali to shakir to biktal i mean let us see al mawdudi dudi you know, duty, duty in Arabic mean warm, warm as warm like insect. Then she came to her people. You committed. Look, look, guys. The translation before it, it was amazing thing. Here, you have committed a monstrous thing. How how the amazing became something else now? I mean, why the translation is so different? Let us go to different translation. Muslim translation is fun, to be honest with you. That Aitani, Aitani, what Aitani? Okay, let us see this guy. Arbari. She brought her the child to her fall, carrying him, and she said, Mary, oh, surely you committed monster's thing, monstrous thing. Anyway, let it go, man. And then Muhammad, right away, he made a big boo-boo. The Jews, they said to her, Sister of Aaron. Ooh. But by the way, Mary is the sister of Aaron. Why, Muslims? Why? They say to you because at the old brother, they used to call them by your ancestor. By, by what? By their ancestor. But Mary, she is not from the ancestor of Aaron. <laughs> Mary is from different tribe, Abdul. She has nothing to do with the tribe of Musa's. When the when the Christian and the Jews start making fun of Muhammad after he said, "Oh, sister of Aaron," Kabul Ahbar came to Aisha and he said to her, "But this is not right." But I know that between Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Aaron, there is a couple of hundred of years. Aisha says to him, "You did lie," and the Prophet told the truth. Kabul Ahbar. Who is a Jew supposedly who later became a Muslim supposedly to his life over over God he said when he noticed that I actually getting angry he said well uh, for sure the prophet he knew better but as I know that between Mary and Musa there is a couple of hundred of years when Muhammad came home and people start saying to him, are you stupid or what? What do you mean? 
that Mary is the sister of Aaron. Hmm? Muhammad, he want to fix it. It's too late now. He said that this is Allah speaking. What he can say, it's a mistake. So Muhammad, he have to come with a solution. He said, in the old days, they used to call them with their ancestor. But that will not help too, because Mary, she is not from the ancestor of Moses, which is the brother of Aaron. All what happened, Muhammad the dummy, he heard the Jews saying that Aaron, he have a sister, her name is Mary, which Maryam. So Aaron and Moses and Maryam are three from one family. So Muhammad, he come to the conclusion that this is must be, you know, Mar Maryam is the same Maryam. She is the sister of, uh, you know, she is the sister of Aaron. Uh, and you know, uh, when the Muslim they try to cover up this story uh, by saying that Muhammad said, our Prophet said, that people they used to be called by their ancestor, that would be a contradiction for the Quran because the Quran says you call them by their fathers, not by anyone. And this is why Muhammad, he forbid people to be called by anyone except their father. You remember when, when Muhammad, he forbid the Muslims from adopting any child you know, because this is what they used to do. They used to adopt children. They used to be better people before Islam. So, uh, Muhammad, he forbid the Muslims from doing adoption. And why he forbid them from doing adoption? Just because he want to have his own son, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, wife. He adopted him, you know, during the time of Khadija. Uh, some, they say, after Khadija. It doesn't matter. He adopted the man and then after that he wanted to sleep with his wife so what he would do he forbid adoption just to realize because people they start talking about him sleeping with his own uh, son wife so what we will do now we forbid it we make allah the reason the reason brother the reason the Prophet, he did the sleep with the Zainab because Allah want to show us that adoption is, is not halal. It's not halal. It's haram. But that's stupid. You cannot forbid something like in order to, to tell you something wrong, I have to sleep with you. Right? In the Quran, it says it clearly, you have to call somebody after he's a true father. No one else. And Moses and Aaron, they are not a true father. And not only that, they are not even from the same tribe. Which means they are not from the ancestor. Which means Muhammad even making it worse when he said that. And there is additional way to confirm that this is a very very stupid error anyone knows how we could, how we can confirm that anyone how we can confirm that muhammad here he made a big mistake it is not what the muslims they say Now we can confirm that. <clears throat> Who's a Muslim want to call me? Anyone?
हेलो वट इज द नेम ऑफ द फादर ऑफ मूसज हेलो हो इज द मुस्ते मन तन मी वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द फादर ऑफ मूसज मे दे मे दे हो इज अ मुस्लिम Uh, hold on, Muslim. They will not answer you unless you sing it for them. The Quran. What is the name of the father of Musa? What is the name of the father of Musa? What is the name of the sister of Musa? Hmm? Can you respond? Okay, we we will read it for you different uh, tone. I was reading it in a Kufi. You know, I will I will do it in the Warish style. <clears throat> in what the name of the father of Moses? If there is anyone can tell me what the name of the father of Moses is, I cannot squeeze myself more to ask you what is the name of the father of Moses. What the heck? Until now, there was no response. I mean, we made Quran for you. Do you know why the Muslims are not answering? Because it's very embarrassing. The father of Mary is Umran. The father of Moses is Umran too. <laughs> Unbelievable. So they try to fix it. They say to us, Oh brother, brother, they used to call them by their editor. The Christian, there's a guy, his name is the Christian prince. He always say, how Allah, he called him the Quran, Mary, the Tetra of Arun. That's because he's stupid. In the old days, the brother, they used to call a person by his ancestor. And this is proven by history and books, and even from the Bible. What Bible? What are you talking about? Mary in the Quran, her father is Umran. This is why the chapter, there's a chapter in the Quran, it's called the chapter of Umran. Mary father, her name is Umran. Musa's father, his name is Umran, and Mary is the sister of Aaron. How more we need to prove that Muhammad is making poo poo? Hold on, we need a fatwa. I need to find you something. Hold on, hold on. The name of the father of Moses. Mm. They try to fool you, you know, they sing the Quran for you. If somebody have a beautiful voice, anything he's, he's saying is going to come right. I mean, it doesn't matter what you sing. If you have a nice voice, it's going to be fine, you know. What is the name of the chicken in Sam's club? I found the name in the chicken. Name. All right. Let us go and find a fatwa. Or you know what? I'm going to do this. Uh, what? What is... Mm-hmm. 
Let's see. I will try to find you some web Muslim website where they want to take you to. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. All right. Uh -huh. You hear me? Can I be heard? Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah, but it's been quite some time. Please uh, mute your YouTube so we don't hear ourselves twice, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, I've done that. So, yeah, what was the question? What's the name? What is the, the name of the father of Moses? Moses. Mo Moses or Aaron, they are his brothers, you know. Right. Whose father? Okay, who's his father? Uh, who, actually? Whose father? Uh, Mariam's father or... The father of Musa. Maryam father is the same father of Musa? Uh, the father of Musa is not mentioned in the Quran. Yeah, but I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, when, if I ask you where we can find, how we can find, what is the name of the father of Musa according to your religion? No, no, we can't find that if it's not mentioned. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. cannot. Mm -hmm. If you can go to the hadiths, they they have copied a lot from the Jewish scriptures, so mm -hmm. they can come up with something. But, okay, uh, so in the Jewish scriptures, Musa's father is uh, Omran. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's true. Ah, interesting. Okay, and in the Jewish scriptures, uh, 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 Miriam's father is uh, Omran? Uh, I'm not sure about the Jewish scriptures, but mm -hmm. in the Quran, it's Imran. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I have no choice but to show you fatwa. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, sure. This is question: Who is the father of Musa alayhi salam? Fatwa number one zero. Uh, I'm not showing the screen. Sorry. Hold on. Give me a second, please. Um. All right. Do you see a screen, my friend? Yeah, I do see on okay. YouTube. But, uh, Waridu Musa, Waridu Musa alayhi salam. This is Islam uh, web fatwa dot net. Uh, Waridu Musa alayhi salam. Uh, fatwa number one zero nine three eight. Sual question: Who is the father of the Prophet Musa's peace upon him? Answer. Uh, the father of Prophet Musa's peace upon him, he is Umran, the son of Fahith, the son of Lawi, the son of Jacob. Do you agree with that? Oh, well, I wouldn't agree with that. So, because if the Quran does not mention, uh, I wouldn't believe in any external source. Mm. But this is, in the, uh, like, as an example, this is from the Tabari, and they are giving you a resource for, you know, to. Prove they their... make up stuff. Uh, Everybody knows they are, they have copied from the Talmud and Jewish scripture. You are, you are a Muslim or not, my friend? Uh, I am a Muslim. I believe in the Quran. I okay, no problem. Quite yeah, no time. problem. But I'm asking you. So now, how we will find out where what is the name of the father of uh, Moses? We cannot. Okay, we go back to Mary. Is Mary the sister of Aaron? Yeah, she is. She is sister of Aaron. Yeah. Hmm. But Aaron is the brother of Moses. Well, th that's a good question, but uh, this Aaron is another guy with the same name, but he turned out to ah, be the brother. He is Mary. the same name. Mm. Mm. But I, I mean, it's like mm. you have a name, some other guy might exist in future as well. That's a very same. good answer, you know, that's a very good answer. Okay. But my friend, you forgot that the mother of Mary, supposed she have difficulty to give birth. And her father was praying to God to give birth, and then she, you know, he gave him, uh, he gave him a, a, a female, not a male. Yeah. So yeah. how how she have a brother if they have a difficulty to have a son, <laughs> to have a baby? Well, uh, he might have come afterwards. It's not mentioned if he's older than uh, my friend. Mary. The Quran. You see, you are, you are a person who's saying, and you go by the Quran only, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as long uh, uh, you go by the Quran only, does it say anywhere in the Quran that Allah He gave a brother to marry? No, it does not say. That. So how come you broke your rules against yourself? As you see here, you know yeah. uh, the uh, uh, the 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 Quran. It says clearly that yeah. uh, um, they made a vow even even for like if she gave birth um that that baby will be for uh, like devoted yeah, to god for, for god yeah, yeah why because people they do that because simply when they don't have children they cannot have a children so they say they make a promise if you give me a child i will devote my child to god you know well they might, might have got a boy afterwards because if the quran says she has a brother so that that's the best thing i can come up with mm. since uh, i don't go outside the quran okay my friend forget about this i want you yeah. as long as you are a quran only you're a Quran only, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what is the Quran? What is the Quran? No, no. Where is the Quran? Because you are a Quran only. How you can follow the Quran if there is no Quran? Then I, of course, can't follow any if there is no Quran. Okay. So where is the Quran? You are Quran only. Remember, you see, I'm not the one who said that. It's you. Yeah. Th there's just one Quran, and everybody. What is the Quran? Knows. I mean, it's in front of you as well. That's not the Quran which Allah He spoke about. You see, the Quran, Allah He said, "Inna alayna jamahu wa Quranahu." Do you agree? It is us who is going to collect it, and we are yeah. the one who recite it. But did Allah is that Quran uh, collected by Allah? Yeah, it was. It's Allah's responsibility to collect the mm. Quran and protect okay. the Quran from. So where is the, where is the Quran? Where is the Quran of Allah? It's with us. It's the same Quran. My friend, no, the Quran in front of us. This one supposedly the Muslim claim. Actually, there's no proof. Uh, yeah. That this is even the Quran of Uthman. They claim even in Arabic they say Quran of Uthman al Mazum, which means the 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 claimed Quran of Uthman. So where is the Quran of Allah? Well, they say if you listen to them, they say that even the chapters of the Quran are not in order and the chronological order is not correct. There's a lot wrong with the Quran if you go by the Sunni or the Shia ideology. Shias even say that uh, the Sunnis removed Ahlul Bayt from the Quran. So Imam Mahdi will come with the real Quran. My friend, I'm asking you, you are a Quran only. Yeah. What is your Quran? This is the Quran, that's it. That's the Quran that's of Uthman. You are just the one saying to me, it's not coming in the right order, etc. It's mean, this is not the Quran. If the Quran of Allah should be come in the right order, would somebody play? This is not the Quran of Allah. Who is who gave a permission to who to change the order? If Allah sent it to to me in a certain way, I well, have to, to be, be honest decent. with you. Uh, I doubt Uthman ever existed. Mm, what and about Muhammad? Really Do you doubt that Muhammad is exist? Exist? How you know Muhammad is exist? How you know? Otherwise, we wouldn't have. Okay, you see, I'm, I'm going with you. You are a Quran only. Explain to me who is Muhammad based on the Quran, where he's from, what his father name, who is he. Go ahead. I'm listening. None of this is mentioned, and I don't think it's relevant in terms of why faith. not? Why not? Okay, because you're Quran only. Now you have to follow Muhammad, but you do not know who is Muhammad. The Quran even give him many names. How we know which one is Muhammad? The Quran doesn't even mention parents of, you know, the father of Moses, Shuab, and okay, so, a couple of other prophets. Okay, why why he mentioned the father of Mary, and why he mentioned, uh, 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 you know, the uh, Zachariah? Why he mentioned? Uh, 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 you know the children of uh, uh, Abraham. I mean, why why the Quran is picking up cherries and the most important prophet who brought the Quran for you? We do not know anything yeah. about him based on the Quran. That, that's a good question. It was Allah's choice to mention it, and Allah also says in the Quran that mm. we have sent prophets to every nation, but we're not relating everybody to you. So Allah is not mentioning every prophet in the Quran. Okay, but so, but, but are you saying to me that the Quran is not an enough book to 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 read? Because now you cannot. Well, if if you see Quran in terms of history and lineage of people, mm. it's not complete. But in terms of faith, it's a complete book. Okay, in terms of faith, it's complete book. How that can be? Explain to me, please. What is the faith in the Quran? Where is the faith? If I if I learn about God in, in Islam, you know, I will ask you a very simple question. Until now, not even a single Muslim was able to answer me. Who is Allah? Allah is the Creator. The Quran says there's many creators. 
Which one? No, the Quran, Quran doesn't say that. I know that verse. It's mm. uh, regarding Baal or something that uh, they forget the best of the Creator. No, there's many verses. Not only up. that. You know, the Quran says there's many creators. Well, uh, the guy who invented electricity, a car, or something. No, there are also friend. creators. No, my friend. You know, you, you're saying, my friend, my friend. Let us maintain our 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 speech here. In Islam, yeah. you are a person who is Quran only. So the Quran. Yeah. Doesn't say anywhere that the one who creates something as a car or etc. is a creator. The Quran says that the one who can create even a fly, he is a creator. How you can worship someone he can't even create a fly? So creation in Islam and creation of the meaning of religion is about yeah. creating a life, not creating, yeah, creating a life. Right. This yeah, is the Quran. This is the Quran, chapter 22, verse number 73. Does it say there how you worship somebody you can't even create a fly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's Based right. on this, your 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 God, He put a rule. If somebody can worship, can create a fly, we can worship Him. Yeah. Sure. Okay. But Jesus created. Well, Jesus created by the permission of God. Doesn't matter. He's a created. He's a cre He's a creator. The second I create something, and now because the the Quran says I breathe into it, correct? Yeah. Okay. Who is the who is the one that breathe? Jesus or Allah? Uh, it's Allah. No, the Quran says it's Jesus. You want to show you? Oh, oh, sorry about that. Sorry, uh, breathe life into uh, right. birds. And stuff. So here we so, go. The same as Allah, He created Adam. Jesus creating the bird, correct? Yeah. Okay. So now we have I breathe and Allah breathe, and both of us we are creators. So now Allah is the best of the crea creators. So now we have two creators and we have two gods. Well, that's a good question because Allah. Is the only creator Allah uh, Jesus gave life by the permission of God and here's a question what do you think the word Malak means like Malak al Maud and Malaika what do you think yeah, this is a copy from the Ara means. this is a copy from the Aramaic language and the Muslim yeah. do not know what it does mean yeah in uh, Hebrew it means Malak so what do you think the literal meaning is for this word since you speak Arabic well, in, in, in the Arabic tradition, it's always come as an angel, supposedly, but the fact it's not. It's someone in charge of something. Yeah, yeah it means the owner, the owner of death, the mm. owner of power, like uh, Jibrail, he's mm. the owner of power. So it's Allah who grants the ownership. Mm. But none of them can create. Yeah, mm. yeah it is Allah who creates. So now we, we agree, me and you, there's two only, they, are, they can create, Allah and Jesus. Well, Jesus can't really. Jesus was fairly limited by giving life to the bird and just a uh, bird and then Lazarus. Hmm. Does it make <laughs> so, a difference, really, if I can create a bird? Or if I, because the verse in the Quran is speaking, if he, because he made a figure of a bird, he made it alive. But he can, obviously, whatever yeah, figure that, he that's makes. A, that's also in the Gospel of Thomas, but it's by the permission of Allah, I believe. On his own, I don't believe. My friend, you, you see your prophet is copying it from, from Bibles who don't approve. However, even if that's true, that confirmed that yeah. Jesus is still is God. Because even those books which Muslims are copying from, confirms still that Jesus is God. And why the Christians, they will deny such a miracle, which will confirm more that Jesus is a creator. And here we go, Muhammad, he copied it within his Quran, and he made it more difficult to believe that Jesus is just a prophet, because now he became a creator. The Quran confirmed that Jesus, he can tell you what you hide in your houses. Is that correct? Yep, that's true. Okay. But isn't it the Quran says that only Allah knows what you in your house is? Well, Allah knows what's <laughs> deep inside you. Do you know what? That's what Allah says. Allah says Allah knows what you stores, but what's in your minds as well. Allah knows your intentions and everything, which mm -hmm. of course Jesus uh, didn't know. Why? What do you What do you mean? Jesus uh, by know. intentions, like what's in your chest, what's in your mind, what you're thinking, only Allah knows that your plans. But the Jesus only knew what people store in their houses. In order to know what you store in your houses, what you ate, I have to have to know to read your mind. How I can know what you did? I can. I. That's mean I have the ability to go flashback and see everything you did in your day. So there's nothing hiding from me. Because well, what? Well, that's because my the friend, knowledge of the unseen. So I have absolutely no idea. Yeah. See, when I know what you did, it means simply, I know everything you thought about. Because before it became an action, you thought about it, correct? 
Yeah. Okay. That's when he know everything. He know what you think. Well, you know, this is what the Bible says, you yeah. know, the Jews, they said, uh, you know, uh, uh, they said, he said to, you know, your sin is forgiven. Uh, Jesus said to them, which one is easier to say that? Like they were wondering, like, how he can forgive sin? Who is this guy? You know, uh, which one is easier to forgive his sin or say to him, carry your bed and, and walk. So if we go in the Quran, we will find that there's many verses confirm that Allah is the only one who knows and nobody knows except Allah. And then we find that Jesus, he knows too. And nobody create except Allah. And then we find that Jesus create too. And nobody, uh, there is a creator, no creator but Allah. But then Allah, he says he is the best of the creators. So when, when Allah, he says he is the best of the creator, either this was a lie or it was true. Who is the creators beside Allah? Nobody, it's just Allah. So it's how you Allah say, giving, but my friend, giving, this will be stupid to say yeah. I am the best of the creators, but there is no creator. That's me, I'm lying. If I say, if I go to my, let's say I'm a kid and I went to my mom and I say, hey mom, I was the best in my classroom, but later they find out I was the only student in the classroom. That's mean I'm a liar. Correct? But if we see the heavens and earth today, you don't see anybody else creating other than Allah. My friend, nobody life. saw Allah created anything. Did Allah create anything? Here we go. Muhammad, he came and he left. He could not do anything. Why Why Jesus, he can create? Why Jesus can tell you what you had in your houses? Why Jesus can resurrect you from death? Why Jesus can heal the blind? Why Jesus can heal the leper? Why Jesus is still alive? Muslims, they have no answer. Why Jesus don't have a father? I mean, all those questions will make Jesus just a prophet. If we ask from the beginning, from the first day in the life of Jesus, he speak in the cradle. Muhammad took him 40 years and then he been squeezed three times and still he have no idea what's happening. He go to his wife that, and his wife should tell him. Story. That, that's a fake story. Uh, he was never squeezed three times. That's something Sunnis came up with just to justify because they had no idea what the Quran says. Okay, no problem. So that, that's the result of the poor understanding. My friend, no problem. Result of the poor understanding. So what is your understanding of the story when Allah he said to Muhammad, Ikhra? He uh, never said that the actual story is in chapter number 53, Surah Al-Najam. Surah Al-Najam? What do you mean? Yeah. What uh, is Surah Al-Najam, if you open up Surah Al-Najam from, I, I I can't remember, maybe verse 5 or 6, let me check. Okay. From there on, it gives you actual story, what actually happened, how Muhammad received the first revelation. Uh, it's It begins from, yeah, 53.5. 5? Five. Five? Alam al-Shid al -Kawwa. Okay. Okay. Um, who is this yeah. one who taught him? Who is Shadid al Quwa? Uh, uh, Shadid al Quwa is Gabriel. He's uh, okay. the powerful angel. Did you say Gabriel? Yeah. You Jibrayl. will not. You will not take your word back. No, I will not. You promise? Yeah. You swear by the fig? Yeah. Okay. You swear by the olive? Yeah. I never heard of God. He swear by fig, man. Anyway, let us go and see the, the the chapter you choose for me, so we can love together. Because this chapter is proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. If you read with me here carefully, it says, "By the star when it is it fall, do the star fall?" Yeah, the stars do fall. Okay, what is star is falling? Sky. What is star falling? Have what the star falling? Meteorites. My friend, no, this is not a meteor. This is a najm. A najm is not a meteor. In Arabic, we say shihab. Like, no. It seems like it's uh, metaphorical. No, no, my friend. Arabic is very rich language. We don't use the word najm for shihab. Shihab or shuhub is, a, is, is the meteor. So Allah swear, okay, let us say this is a meteor. Allah swear by the meteor. Yeah. What, what is the connection between this and Allah coming down or Jibreel coming down to teach Muhammad? What is the connection? When I say by the meteor or by the star where it fail, either I am meaning that Jibreel or the one who is coming down himself is a star, or there's no connection. Well, it seemed like because uh, Jibreel himself uh, came to Muhammad in his, in his real form. No problem, but what is the connection between the star failing and Jibreel coming down? Uh, you see, when I'm making this uh, right now, I'm talking to you, and suddenly yeah. I, I swear by the zucchini. Shouldn't you ask me why? What zucchini have to do with our topic? Because it seemed like a star falling from the sky. That that's the connection. Because mm, it seems so. Is, this is a false oath yeah. then, because it's he said he said it, by the star, but it's, it's not the star. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I will go with you now. 
here you will see it continue yeah. it says your madallah sahibukum wa mahawa your your friend he did not go astray and he did not neither yeah. go error why why they are saying that to him why, because why? he's not a liar he's not speaking from his own, own desire mm -hmm. okay that's 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 a good thing but is it because somebody says to him muhammad your shaitan is forsaking you he's not coming to you this is what happened but anyway you don't believe in the hadith so we will let it go then yep, so al -hawa. hold on yeah. al -hawa. who is the one who don't speak of his own desire who is the one they are uh, talking about here uh muhammad, uh, muhammad. So we have got five minutes left okay so, well they're too yeah. bad you have five minutes left but let me show you my friend as long as you have five minutes left if you yeah, see yeah, here sure. if you see here this is cannot be jibreel because here it says that the one who spoke to him it was his lord and he revealed into his slave that what he revealed the one who came down is the same person doesn't switch to jibreel to allah no there's no mention of jibreel they mention no anyone well, it says that he yes, that's again philosophy he revealed which means jibrail revealed mm -hmm. to, his, to slave. his servant to servant of allah no 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 you see both of them they are capital letter read with me both of them in arabic is very clear in, in arabic there's not like abdihi is concluded in the servant he is a slave in arabic like in arabic is different language so in english you say he's a slave but in arabic when you say when he is saying the slave he is saying his in the same time and his goes back to the one who is the master of the slave who is that that's Allah because Muhammad is not the slave of Jibreel is that correct yep that's true okay so how this is can be Jibreel this is a very confusing verse stupid well, verse you can have an other understanding that that's how Allah revealed he revealed through Jibreel onto his servant. my friends tell you will not call it you will not say no because it says and he revealed into his servant is it describing for us the descendant of a person correct there's a there's a person is coming down and then yeah, he revealed so there's no there's no like this connection between them that's it it's coming from point a to point B step by step I swear by the star which falling down and the one who taught you and then you know he he saw him in the horizon correct he was in the horizon yeah. okay and then just and then he draw down he draw down just, just, listen yeah. he draw down same person and then he is so close into to the point he is like a, in the length of two bow or nerdier and then yeah. he revealed it's not yeah. it's not then say that someone else revealed Yes, but CP, the thing is, it's clearly against the mainstream story, uh, which is regarding, you know. See, a second ago, happened. five minutes ago, you told me you don't believe in the hadith. Now you have to switch to the hadith no, to no, say no. to me, my stream. I don't. I'm saying that that's a fake story in the hadith. The Quran is, but, but, the, but the Quran here, the Quran here yeah. is confirming that is one person. There's no two person. No two person. There's no Jibreel. And for sure, this is going to be Jibreel. This is, must be Allah because the one who came down. It mentioned that he mentioned to his slave Abdo is not even his servant it is his slave so this is cannot be Jibreel there's no you see the story continue describing to us a person coming from the sky and he is you know even it says you know the one who is mighty in power who is the one in mighty in power is that is that that's Jibreel? That's Jibreel no yeah. no my friend no because if if it is Jibreel then he will not be the slave of Jibreel very simple secondly when you say he is the might of power that's mean there's no other might of power you see when I give you a title yeah. you know all the titles they have to be given from God but when I say he is the might of power that's mean Almighty God because Almighty God is the might of power no one no one has have power save God all the power is coming from God so when I say you are the mighty power that's mean you are the mighty power there's nobody like you Well, Allah has given him strength more than uh, anybody else. No, has given no, the strength. no, no, my friend. That's we still. That, uh, is he more strong than Allah? No, no. Okay, no so how he is the might of power? You see, in the might of power, it's mean uh, as simple as that. He is might of power. That's mean. To, to see, we are talking about the word might. It's, that's mean. That's it. That's the one who uh, ultimate power. There's no competition to him. This is why we call God Almighty God. There's nobody like you know like, have a power like him. So obviously here, when you are a person, when I go by the Quran only, you will find yourself chaining yourself into a rob, 
and you are the more you read the more you tie yourself up and then to find a solution you have to go to the hadith no cp i've never been to hadith i've been studying quran for quite some while and i believe it's enough and allah has not neglected anything in the book okay just before you go i don't know if you heard me yeah. before speaking about uh, uh you know like as an example your god allah he speak about how he created the baby Oh uh, yeah, do you I agree? Do you agree with the Quran that how he created the baby, how your God created the baby? Uh which baby Adam? The baby, any baby. No, the, the reproduction, you know, like after Adam. Yeah, I'm aware of do that. Do you agree? Uh, a chronic fact. Yeah, I do agree with the Quran. Well, how is that happen? I mean, this is really weird. How you agree? You are smarter than this. How how well, you I can't really see the how? debate on this because I'm not a doctor and I've never seen any. Yeah, but you have a, do you have high school, my friend? Do you have high school? Do you have high school? Yeah, yeah. I've okay. Been to school and so high like school. we we learn. I mean, it's a basic knowledge. You don't have to. I'm a, I'm not a doctor too. I'm nobody told. Did I say I'm a doctor? I'm not. You know, yeah. uh, even my English is funny. I mean, what what I can say more, but that will not be a reason to say. That I do not understand and how I learned since we were in the like in the sixth grade We learn how the baby production happened. So when your God he says that Allah he made the sperm into a congealed blood Isn't it? This is obvious that this is a funny book um, No, I would agree with that uh, mm. It's the sperm that becomes into a blood clot and mm. then By the way, my studies were never that deep you like, agree you, you know, agree with that or you don't agree I do agree with the Quran. Is that based on some research you did, or just you agree, whatever it's no, my, my faith. Uh, I would be honest with you because I'm not a doctor, I've never seen anything with my own eyes. Yeah, but this is very, very, uh, you know, uh, very ignorant of the one who wrote the Quran to say so because the sperm, first of all, will not transform into anything, and the baby is not coming from the sperm actually. The sperm is just deliver, uh, activate the egg and uh, deliver DNA, and, and the sperm will be the, 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 the disposed. That's it, will be disappear. And then yeah. uh, uh, it's not if the sperm is transformed into the clot. There is something that's called the egg, and the egg is the one is going to grow, not the sperm. So here, uh, at the same time, the clot. There's no stage in the in the the baby embryo is going to be uh, the the baby will be after it's being a sperm is going to be a congealed blood, which means dead blood. That is a very stupid mistake. So I do not need to. Yeah, like I mean, you are saying to me, I never search. I mean, you are a smart person. You will not go and do like little search in Google now. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Come on, you are being honest. Be honest moment, with me, my friend. Be honest with I, my. I, I, you I, see, it's up to you. I'm not going to shout at you, and I'm not going. To, I'm not going to. You see, you are. You are. You are. You are speaking to me with respect. I speak to you in respect. You know, usually Muslim they play a lot of games, but I am uh, expecting you not to be one of them. You know. Yeah. This I'm why. Really, this yeah, why until now we did not shout. Usually, when I talk to Muslims, we shout. Why? Because they start insulting. They start calling names. You are a nice person, but a nice person like you. He cannot fool himself and fool us and says, I'm not going to go to Google for, after two minutes and search, and I find that this is stupid. No, I will definitely do my research on this. Okay. Uh, but I haven't touched this. Do you topic. promise me to call me later to see? Like, are you? Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Call me later. Google's... Check it out. Check it out, my friend. And call me later. Either either this is true, or if this is not true, it means Allah is not true, too. Yeah, I won't be able to ring you back today. but No problem. So... You, have, you have 10 years from now. No problem. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, for okay. Take care. Okay, thank, uh, thank you, CP. It was nice to be Bye bye. So I mean, what we can do? You see, they, they say we are Quran only in order to avoid all the disasters and the stupidity in the prophet stories. But that will not help you. It's still stupid. I mean, the Quran, every verse, every statement is a joke. Every verse. I mean, here we go. Who is going to choose for me something smart in this book? Hmm? I can claim, you know, look, look at, I mean, look at this statement. Look at this. This is funny. And the cattle too, ye have instructive example from their bodies. We produce milk for you. It doesn't say what, by the way, milk. So we we give you drink from their body. 
I mean, it's an, unlike a claim that this is his miracle. <laughs> I mean, how naive is that to say? What about my mother? Isn't is it my mother is the one who gave me milk before the cow? This is naive. This is stupid. I mean, the logic is stupid. It's broken. And you know, I can say now, like I don't you see how the cat say meow, meow. That's a miracle of me. I am the one who told the cat to say meow. By the way, the cat used to say ow, but I made them say meow because I'm God. Worship me. Anyone can claim anything. Don't you see how the rabbit move his lips? Non-stop, up and side. It's my miracle to the view. Meow, meow, oh meow. I mean, what kind? What kind of miracle those? I mean, show us a miracle for real. Stop saying, don't you see, don't you see? We saw nothing. Do you see the cloud in the sky? When it move and say goodbye. It's made only by me. The fact it's made in China, not me. This is God. Show me a miracle. He keeps saying to me, do you see this? Do you see that? Do you see Jesus? He did miracle by my permission. Okay, show me that he, if you, if Jesus, he gave miracle by your permission, show me one miracle like Jesus. So you gave him permission, but you cannot do what Jesus do. Do we have any Muslim want to call us? Hmm? Yeah, show me. Silence me. Oh boy. Any Abdul? Hmm? Who is a Muslim would like to call me, please? I mean, every verse in front of us is a joke. And look what he says after that. I mean, this is God talking? And on them as well as in ships, ye ride. Are you serious? The ships are the miracle of Allah. The ships. The ships in the sea, they are the miracle of Allah. Hello? Hello, it is the ship we are looking for, and I saw one as never before. It's made by Allah Takbir. Hello, what is that, man? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Any Abdul? I wonder how, I wonder why he told me about the blue, blue sky and all what I can see. Just an ignorant around me. Which verse you like to me to choose? And I will make it a, 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 a music for the blues. Eh? And any, any Muslim would like to tell us something? Which, which, where in the Quran we should go? Show me something smart in this book. Here we go. We are live on air. We challenge the Muslim to show us show us one smart sentence in this book. And look, 
each time Muhammad he says something to the Arab, the Arab make fun of him, says, Oh, this is man, this is the fabulous that this is the fairy tales of the of the nations before us. You can't fool us, we know this stories. Stop lying to us. The Muslim they say the Arab they were amazed with the Quran and the fact they were amused. And they keep saying to him, This is the fabulous, the fairy tale of the of, of, of ancient. They were not seeing it as something amazing. Any Abdul? Where is the Muslims? What happened to the why, why, why we are short of uh, huh? Mm. <clears throat> Any verse Muslim you like me to stop by? Anything you find smart here? Hmm. Oh boy. The funny, I find uh, one, one of the funniest verses is this. If anyone invoke beside Allah any other God, he has no authority, therefore. By the way, this false translation it says they have no proof of him. Okay, what is the proof of Allah Himself? The one who's saying to you, How you can worship a God, you have no proof of his existence. Why Allah don't give us a proof that he is exist? Isn't it funny that you are asking them why you are worshiping a God who have no proof of his existence and yet Allah himself he have no proof of his existence? Don't you find this is a stupid statement? Somebody is saying, uh, somebody is calling me a donkey. My friend, your prophet, he married a woman. Her name is Zainab bin Tujash. We Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. So please respect the family of the mother-in-law and the father-of-law of your prophet. Please show respect. Don't tell me that the last name of your prophet wife was not a respectable name for him. Otherwise, why he will marry from the donkey family? It must be a great family. So why you are calling me a donkey? Somebody told you I am the brother of Zainab bin to Jahsh. Hello. Zainab bin to Jahsh means Zainab, the daughter of the donkey. My friend, so mute to you too, please. Are you there? Hello, good evening. Good morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Good. Uh, Don't worry about morning. Good evening. Uh, Allah can switch time as we wish. So, uh, uh, are you a Muslim? Uh, no, but I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, I just want to know. Uh, maybe uh, you said that the sun set in uh, the well, Madi, Madi pool in mm. Quran. Mm. But at the same time, I read that uh, it rests in. Uh, in the throne of Allah. So which one the, the correct the correct one, please? All right, I will answer you. Thank you very much for calling it. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's, yeah, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, it's the same actually because the throne of Allah is above the water. So Muhammad is trying to copy something from the Old Testament as usual. He's a thief. And the thief, when he copy, he you know he adds some colors, he adds some descriptions, which is not there to try to make it like it's his own. So the Quran and the Hadith, both of them confirm one thing. When the Quran says that the sun set in the murky water and the sun goes every day from the east to the west and go sleep in the water, that water is under the throne of Allah. And as you see, that the throne of Allah is above the water. All right? So it is, it is the same. It's not two things. The murky water is under the throne of Allah, and this is where the sun set. 
and for sure this is stupid to believe but you know this, this is what it's there it is there all right and you know and the Muslim by the way <coughs> uh, when Muhammad he he speak about something he always make a horrible mistakes um, let me As an example, read this one with me. Uh, a person, he asked Muhammad a question. I said, oh, messenger of Allah, where was our Lord before he created his creation? Which means there is nothing created yet. Nothing, nothing, totally nothing. Look what Muhammad he said. And here you will see the, sh the, the lack of intellect and intelligence. He said, he was above the cloud. He just said to you before he created the create. <laughs> he just said to you before he created his creation. What do you mean above the cloud? What is the? He did not create a cloud yet. If he is saying to you where he was before he created his creation, isn't it the cloud his creation? Okay, here we go. We have a good news. Now we know where Allah was. He was above the cloud. Okay. And below was air and the top was air. What does that mean? Allah was inside the atmosphere of the earth. There's air above and there's air underneath. And there was water. So how you say? And then he says he created the throne above the water. Like what the heck? The problem is that always there's a lack of intellect and low IQ. Where is the intelligence here? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? My Allah is above the air, and above him there is air. And he is above the cloud, and underneath of him there is a cloud. And there was a water underneath. I mean, you know, I mean, Allah is lucky. You see, he is copying a story from the book of Genesis, which is far away from this. But Muhammad, he is trying to copy something, that when God created the earth, Everything was it was covered by water, and actually, until now, seventy more than seventy percent of the water covering the earth. But here, Muhammad, he is making his own poopoo. What above the water? What under the water? And what is you know this before he create the creation? He is saying to you before he create his creation. You see, uh, if the Muslim they take their books in a metaphorical way, I can say, okay, but they are the one who make websites about science, Quran and science, Allah and science. I mean, Allah, Allah is the God of science. I mean, are you kidding me? This guy, he knows everything. Ask Allah. If you want to know something, ask Allah. Look, look, look. Look in the front of you. Dark matter, it's in the Quran. Animal language, it's in the Quran. Iron is in the Quran. Gender is in the Quran. Eye boy in the Quran. I mean, if there is something is not in the Quran, even flight of airplane is in the Quran. Are you kidding me? Even fingerprint in the Quran. Wormhole is in the Quran. Sinkhole in the Quran. Fingerprint in the Quran. The Dead Sea in the Quran. The skin nerves in the Quran, the volcano in the Quran, the shoreline in the Quran. I mean, this even hamburger in the Quran. Do you see the hamburger? In the hamburger day, it was my birthday, but I was fasting. 
what is unlucky day. I mean, imagine you born in the hamburger day, but you are fasting in that day. Mm. Fasting? Who is a Muslim want to call me and he will challenge me to pick up one? Look at this guy, breastfeeding. Breastfeeding? Wow. Miracles, science. Magnet sphere in the Quran. Hydrothermal vents in the Quran. Is so, uh, uh, l l hold on. This is hard for me as an Arab to read. I need like a week. Uh, I saw Torabi in the Quran. I'm getting dizzy here. Space time in the Quran, sunlight, fire, will. I mean, what? And look at this, even this here. The Miss Mosquito. It was once I was sitting with a bunch of ladies, and uh, one of them she came. And I was introducing everybody. So this is Miss, uh, you know, Gina, and this is Miss uh, whatever. And then a mosquito stopped in the table. I said, "Mosquito." True story from Sahir Bukhari. The Quran spoke about the mosquito. I, I became so, uh, so so curious about this. Look how how funny this mosquito. I mean, look look how cute, guys. I want to see what the story of the mosquito. What do you think? I became curious. What do you think? Should I click on it or we should not go there? Who in here is have a phobia from mosquitoes? Mosquito, by the way, is a Japanese originally. You know? Uh, the, the, her grandfather, uh, grandmother, her, her name is Mosquito Akanawa. Mosquito Akanawa Wawa. Okay, let's go there. All right. Mosquito. Mosquitoes has their own parasites, and this is in the Quran. Unbelievable! I'm really that's, um, that is astonishing. The Quran speak about parasite of in the year 1922. A scientist named F. A. W. George Bush published a paper. Oh, here we go. The disaster started here. I mean, why? For the sake of God, why you publish the paper so the Muslim will use it? I mean, come on. Now the Muslims they have a clear evidence that Quran is from God. Okay, he published a paper described a remarkable thing: flying, biting midge collected from the Melele Lili La Peninsula in the south of Asia. I, I was there. That is, he uh, he, uh, he named. Uh, what is that? How I can read this one? Uh, okay, I got it. Uh, I know a feeling, okay. What made the made it was remarkable was the thing it it bite mosquitoes. Unbelievable, unbelievable. This is in the Quran. Where in the Quran says that? Let us go down and laugh together. Oh. This is what the Quran is saying. Mosquitoes and what above it? Mean, mean. How the Quran knows that there is something above the mosquito, brother? <laughs> you see how they lie to you? The verse saying that Allah, he give you, he is not shy to give you an example, even if a mosquito and above it in size, which mean uh, from mosquito and up, even if it's a mosquito, this is how stupid the verse is. And look how they make a miracle out of nothing. Let us go and show you the interpretation for the verse so we can love together. Chapter 2, verse number 26. Mm -hmm. la, la, la. Allah he spoke about parasite living over the mosquitoes. Are you sure? Mean. That is pure science, brother. God is not ashamed to strike, to make a similitude. S sim what? Similitude. Methyl is the first direct object. So Allah is not ashamed to explain to you, to tell you a story, even to give you a parable about what is small as a mosquito and what above. 
have nothing to do with the science they are talking about and here we go this is the interpretation in front of you why they are lying this is Tafsir al-Jalalain. We can switch to Ibn Abbas and we can switch to Ibn Kathir. We can switch to any interpretation you want. Allah mentioned to the, Jew, the Jews objection to the Quran. Smile saying, Lu Allah. Lu Allah. This denth not. He cannot abstain from calling, calling smile. And how, where is the mosquito? Let's go to the mosquito story. Okay. The funny, they are not even talking about the mosquito. And the, Okay, here we go. Even regarding a gant, or what is above it. Hmm? So even if it's a small thing, he will give an example about it. And above it, which means above in size, not something in the top of it, such as a fly or a spider, etc. Why they are lying and making this? وَمَا فَوْقُهَا In Arabic mean, and what is more than it is? In size, you know? So he is saying, even if it's a mosquito small like this, I will give you from mosquito and above, as an example. Let us go to Ibn Kathir, the doctor Ibn Kathir. Shall we? All right, Ibn Kathir, um, chapter 2, verse number 226, Ibn Kathir, <clears throat> amazing. Allah, he spoke about the parasite. Why he did not say the word parasite? Anyway, why, why he wait for the guy to publish his paper? See, see, there is parasite there. I mean, who is holding you? Cannot even you come with the word parasite? Why you don't say that? Read. Verily, Allah is not ashamed to set forth a parable, even if a mosquito, or so much when it is bigger, or less when it is smaller than it. That's it. This is what all is talking about. Do you see it? They make there is a parasite live in the top of the mosquito and the parasite they bite the mosquito i feel sorry now for the mosquito actually i feel so happy now because mosquito is not left alone without revenge she bite me here we go somebody is biting you see what happened to you see what happened to you mosquito do we have any muslim why you lie why you fabricate your stories to make it fit with science? Let us go back to the website. Any Muslim want to give me a miracle of his choice here so we can read about it? Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim in town? Any alien? Anyone? Which one? I want you, you Muslims, to call me and choose one. Any one of your choice. Look, all of them. Open for you. Choose one. Which one? Hmm? Which one? Even the Pharaoh is there, man. The orbits. The colonies. Uh, oh, boy. Even atoms? Are you serious? <laughs> Hello. Uh, hey, I just want to ask who is Imam Mahdi? Who is Imam what? Imam Mahdi is he Antichrist itself or something? No, like no. That? Okay, I will. Ex I will answer you. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, our friend here. Uh, I will answer you. You can listen. Uh, do you have another question, or this is the only one? No, that's about it. All right. Listen okay. to me in YouTube, please. Thank you. All right. She is asking about what is Al Mahdi. Al Mahdi simply is a fiction story of an Imam, for supposedly he is descendant from Muhammad, and he is the twelve Imam. Let us do this. Even though I will change the topic, but look like we have to answer. If we type in Google Al Mahdi.
and the Muslim Shia they are obsessed with this name Imam Al Mahdi all right so if we search in Google you will find tons of videos speaking about someone his name is Al Mahdi now who is Al Imam Al Mahdi simply he is according to many Islamic resource that he is the 12th Imam which is disappear during one of the Caliphate and obviously he was killed by the Caliphate and um, you know he kidnapped him he killed him and because of that the Muslims they start believing that Al Mahdi disappear and he will be back one day before the Messiah come back and uh, from time to time we hear somebody claiming that he is Al Mahdi now Al Mahdi you will notice that the Muslims they use the number 12 it's like the Apostle of Jesus Jesus have a 12 Apostle so Al Mahdi is the Imam number 12 the tribe of Israel they are 12 tribes so Al Mahdi is number 12 and the Muslim Shia uh, and Sunni they share a lot of fiction stories about this person as an example Al Mahdi is not a person who his mother gave birth to him a normal birth she gave birth to him from her side let us say from her tie not from her vagina because he's in Mahdi there's no way Allah will let him be born from a vagina impossible and Al Mahdi uh, uh, you know some source says his mother her name is Nargis some people they say her mother name is Mary which is really look like we are talking about Christ uh, Al Mahdi he disappeared in a Sardab which means in a cave and he took with him the true Quran and that is the Quran of Fatima and he will be back one day a lot of fiction stupid stories and those Muslims supposedly waiting for Al Mahdi to come back and as you see they are even making university in his names you know tons of stories about Al Mahdi uh, Imam Al Mahdi the just leader of a humanity let us see uh, where is the book I don't see anything I see nothing maybe here let us see mm, okay oh there's no book I thought there's a book here to read uh, it look like chapter one um, anyway just to make it simple Al Mahdi is a fiction person it might be exist as a person one day as uh, someone from the family of Muhammad but the rest of the story is all is fictions and supposedly he is still alive and Allah hide him in a, in a cave and one day he will come back and he will uh, he will establish uh, Islam and he will be preparing for Jesus to come now I saw many videos they are saying that Al Mahdi is an Antichrist my friend how somebody is not exist can be the Antichrist this guy is just a guy normal guy and he is supposedly from the family or descendant from Ali uh, uh, the cousin of Muhammad who married supposedly from the daughter of Muhammad but the fact is that Muhammad has no daughters you see when somebody is bankrupt what happened when Islam forced itself on Middle Eastern like me uh, and those they used to have a spiritual belief which is a Christianity or even other belief then suddenly they found themselves empty there's no miracles there's no proofs there's no spirituality there's nothing so they start fabricating stories which is obviously the most stupid stories ever you can imagine if I read for you uh, uh, stories about Al Mahdi you might die laughing <clears throat> I wish a Muslim can call us so we can talk about this if you wish I don't mind uh, if you ask a Muslim what is the proof of Al Mahdi even to be exist where you get this from they will start coming to you with tons of stories no one knows where even they are coming from it's a madness
and the more you read the more you notice that the Islam is a is a uh, uh, from the beginning to the end is a fiction if Al Mahdi is coming back so why we need Jesus why the Muslim they need Jesus why Jesus is going to come back in the end of the time if he is the one if Al Mahdi will come back with establish justice he will kill the enemy so who is Jesus so obviously the one who fabricated the story is trying to replace Jesus or Isa in Islam with someone is called Al Mahdi and Muhammad he mentioned if we go in the hadith <clears throat> So when Muhammad he mentioned a story uh, the Muslims they just you know repeat the story and uh, nobody knows actually let us see if I can find you some hadith <clears throat> hmm. If we ask the Muslims where you got where you get the story of Al Mahdi from, they will say to you, Muhammad he said, but I cannot find really anything about Al Mahdi to be truthful because the Quran itself it says that Muhammad he know nothing about the future. So how he can prophesy about Al Mahdi if he do not know anything about the future? Chapter 7 verse number 188 say for myself. I have no power to benefit nor power to hurt Save that which Allah willed had uh, had had I knowledge of the unseen I should ab have abundance of the wealth and diversity So Muhammad saying here Allah saying to him say to them that you know nothing of the unseen and you have no idea What is the future and you have no idea what is coming? And if you have an idea, you will take a benefit of it. So when we ask the Muslims, where, where is the story of Al-Mahdi coming from? Everybody give you his own fiction. Nobody knows. There's millions of stories. And all of it has no real source. Nothing, no proof, no... Uh, it's fairy tales. And for sure... You know the uh, the Shia they almost worship the guy and his name Al Mahdi. A few years ago, there's a guy he claimed that he is Al Mahdi in Iraq, and he he come with an army. It's called the Army of the Sky, or the Army of Heaven, and they start fighting with the Shia, and then the Shia they attack them from every side, and they are Shia too, and they kill them all, they slaughter them all, more than three to four thousand uh, men. Who followed this man who claimed to be Al Mahdi? I don't know what happened to him after that. I think they arrested him. And most likely they killed him. Uh, Muhammad he said that from my nation there will be a guy who his name is Al Mahdi. But Muhammad did not even tell us who is this guy Al Mahdi. And Al Mahdi, by the way, means the guidance or the guide. And if this story is true that Muhammad he said that. Then Muhammad is not the guidance. Jami al Turmudi. I heard Abu uh, Al Sadiq uh, uh, and Najjar can narrate the hadith, etc. That we fear the event, uh, uh, we fear the event to occur after the Prophet. So we ask Allah, um, uh, Prophet, and He said, Indeed, there will be a Mahdi who come in my ummah which means my nation living for five or seven or nine <laughs> i like it when muhammad says that uh, you know five uh seven uh nine uh, continue please continue why you stop i mean you stop with nine what's wrong <laughs> okay uh, uh, uh zaid was the one in doubt he said we said what is that he said years he said, a man will come to him and say, Oh Mahdi, give me, give me. So he will fill in his garment whatever he able to carry. What does that mean? I mean, this... so you see, Muhammad always, he come with the stories. It's stupid and that does not make sense. He did not tell us who is this guy, Al-Mahdi. 
uh, different hadith it says that Allah uh, uh, will send this guy Al Mahdi, he will come from his nation, and Allah will send rain. Uh, uh, because he came, he will send rain over the earth, and and will be covered by grass and will cover be by plant everywhere, you know, and uh, animals will grow and uh, everybody will become worthy, and uh, he will uh, you know live for uh, six or seven or eight years or nine years. I mean, it's just a fiction stories, and the Muslims now, the poor Muslims are waiting for that, you know. And, and you know, I never saw someone he speak uh, fictions as much as Muhammad. And obviously, you know, the Muslims they try to imply that the guy who they call him Al Mahdi. By the way, even his name is not Al Mahdi, but they call him Al Mahdi. Just because Muhammad he said there's a guy he will come from my nation and he's going to be the guide, Al Mahdi. Mahdi is one of us. The people of household, Allah uh, uh, recycle him in a single night. So Muhammad, he is uh, saying here in the hadith that he is going to be from my family. Al-Mahdi is going to be from my family. And this is what the Shia used to say, okay, this is the guy. He is the 12 Imam, which means the 12 leader. And uh, 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 he disappear and obviously will come back. Okay. And they are waiting for that. In different hadith, they say that Al Mahdi is going to fill the earth with justice. But Muhammad he said in different place that the one who will do that is Isa. And that is a contradiction. The Prophet S A W S Mercedes Benz said, Al Mahdi will be of my stock and will leave a board forehead. A, a prominent nose mm -hmm. <laughs> he will fill the earth with equality and justice as it was filled with oppression and tyranny and he will rule for seven years <clears throat> who is this guy nobody knows uh, but Muhammad he said in different place if Al Mahdi is a real person, then Al Mahdi should come in his time right away after him. Because Muhammad he claimed, he said in different hadith that Bu'athu bissa'a. Bu'athu wassa'a. I mean, me and the judgment day, we are sent together. It's not going to delay. I and the last hour have been sent like this. And he opened his two fingers, which means they are almost equal. You know, if you open your finger, so like there is a distance between one of them and the other, a short distance. So Muhammad saying that the judgment day is very close because me and the judgment day we send together. Allah, he sent us together. The difference between us is just like a few days or a few years. So where is the Mahdi? Are we listening, guys? So obviously, uh, the whole story is a contradiction. How you are sent and the judgment day they are coming with you, and then Al Mahdi will come long after that before the judgment day. That means it should be happening a few years after. And by the way, this hadith proving Muhammad that he is a false prophet too. Because if you and the judgment day they are sent together, that means that's it. So Muhammad is the last warner. This is why the Muslim they say to us, Muhammad is the last prophet, correct? Isn't it the Muslim they say he is the last prophet? Did you ask yourself why he is the last prophet? Because simply there's no need. That's it, it's judgment day. <clears throat> Are we getting the point? Anyone don't understand? Why Muhammad is the last messenger? Because he is coming at the judgment day. That's it. There's no. That's it. There's no people will live after. Me and the judgment day we are sent together. And I am the last prophet because there's no need. That's it. It's over. So who is the Mahdi who will come? The Mahdi will come in a few years. Now, is Al-Mahdi is an Antichrist? No. 
Even Muhammad himself, I don't think even he is an antichrist. The, the belief of Muhammad is an antichrist. Hello? Hey, hello, Christian Prince. It's me, Isa. Hey, Isa. How are you? And I would like to... I'm fine. Thank you. I would like to say something about the Mahdi because, you know, since I'm an ex-Muslim, I have a, li a little bit of knowledge and, you know, I'm... Uh, I'm before sure before you talk, let me introduce Isa to those who did not know. Isa, he yes. is a person who gave me a lot of headache. A lot of headache. He was a Muslim and took me a lot of fighting with him until he left Islam. So Isa now he's out of Islam just last week. He's a new fresh yes. out of Islam. And he accepted yes. Jesus as his Lord. Uh, good Finally. to have you, Isa. Okay. So what do you want to say, Isa? Go ahead. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's a hadith who, uh, that uh, says that there, there will be a, a Mahdi and his name will, will also be Ahmed. Just like, you know, Muhammad's name is like uh, mm. uh, Ahmed. And I'm... I, I'm sure that uh, you know that there's like a like a Ahmadiyya. Mm. You know this, this that they are also <coughs> Muslims and they mm. and they're claiming that their last prophet or this like the the man is is, is called Gulam Ahmed mm -hmm. and and they're claiming that he is a man Adi and also Jesus. You know, but yeah. this can't be true because you know there's one hadith that says that. Um, there, there will be the Mahdi and there will be Jesus and you know they and they say who's 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 going to to pray you know f uh, for us you know there's that there's like one guy st st standing before all, all the others yeah. and um yeah, actually and, and actually Muhammad he said that al, 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 when when Isa come down mm -hmm. the Mahdi will be the prince of the people and he will ask Isa to lead the prayer which means Isa is, prayer, yes. is higher than yes. him yeah so that they will be both. But anyway, uh, Ahmadiyya, they are very uh, stupid religion. Uh, this guy, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he believed that he mm -hmm. was he was married for three years. You know, he was married for three years and then he became Jesus. All right? Yeah, this so can't look be like, true, you know, but they... uh, you know, it's stupid what you can say. I mean, uh, uh, by the way, I was I was a Trump for three years too. He was, he I was, was what? I was me. I mean, myself, I was Trump and I was Obama for five years. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and and then now I'm a Christian and, prince. What I can was, say. <laughs> and and he was Doctor Zakir Naik. And Zakir Naik for yeah, Zakir Naik for some time. At, a five minute ago, at, I was Zakir Naik. Yeah. At least, at least he was him for just a couple. Of All right. Yeah, but, but but you know, I don't know. You know, the more the more videos you you show us, the more you, the more it's it's proven that this is like really stupid and. Imagine, imagine back like in 2013. You know, I I I was convinced that Christ was was the truth, but you know, I I still had much much uh, questions. You know, in, in my head. so hmm. I just looked one 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 of your videos, and and it was like 10 minutes videos, and that, and you know, one 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 video from from Christian Prince was enough to just brought me back even closer to Jesus. You know, and that's you know which video is so, that. Do you remember hmm? which video? No, I, I don't know. Maybe like uh, Jesus was a ho the holy son, and mm, okay, he, and many videos, many, many, many videos. All right. Okay, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for calling. We appreciate it. Yes, nice to talk to you. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Hi. Good. Goodbye. All right. Well, here we are. You know, we are free school for people who like to learn, which is good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the answer about if uh, if uh, Al Mahdi is an antichrist, Al Mahdi does not exist. Obviously, even if he exists as a man, he's he's dead as a person. And the antichrist, I believe, is going to come from the nation of Israel. Is not going to be from Japan or China or even from the Arab. However, the Bible says, whoever deny the Father and the Son is an antichrist. So there is two things about the Antichrist. There's the Antichrist, which is a, an individual person, and there's Antichrist who can be me and you, anyone who deny the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. All right? Uh, so this is just a fiction story, a stupid story. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, bringing a lot of division for the Muslims, by the way, because of it. Because now the Sunni and the Shia, they are desperately fighting to death each other over this Mahdi. Because Muhammad, he said, he is from my family. 
and the Shia they are too much into the family of Muhammad and they worship them to the point even they say that they are uh, they are made a flight you see the the Shia even some Sunni they believe that fam Muhammad and his family they are not a human like us they have a flesh of a human but they are made of light uh, and the reason for that they say because because the Quran says that Allah he sent him as a Siraj and Muniran which mean a shiny lamp how Allah he says Muhammad is a shiny lamp that is bringing more confu confusion to the Muslims because uh, when you say that Muhammad himself is a shiny lamp that means Muhammad himself is God how Muhammad is a shiny lamp? He asked you to believe in Allah and he is a shiny lamp. Who is Muhammad? Obviously, Muhammad here he fabricated a verse about him, glorifying himself and making himself equal to God, saying he is the same because the Quran says in different verse that Allah is a shiny lamp too. Allah Nur Samawatu Al Ard. There's many verses. Chapter 24, as an example, verse number 35 says it clearly that Allah is a shiny lamp. So now we have two shiny lamp. We have Allah and we have Muhammad. So which one of them is the shiny lamp we are talking about? Any Muslim? And by the way, the Muslims, they always quote for us a verse from the Quran, which is the, the following verse. Chapter 61, verse number 8. They desire to extinguish with their mouth the light of Allah. By the way, translation is wrong. It doesn't say God, because the word Allah does not mean God. There's many naive people who think that the word Allah means God. That's not true. Allah is a word contained two words. For those who do not know, it is Al La Al as a word mean God. Which means the name of the God of Islam is Lah. And for sure, we repeated that many times, but for those who they are first time here, they will learn. So, Al Lah, not Allah. This is why in the Quran, chapter 1, verse number 2, it says, Alhamdulillah, Lah, Li, Lah, Li. In Arabic is equal to two. So li lah. And I'm writing now from right to left to make it equal to the Arabic. Lah. And by the way, in case you do not know, when we read the word when we read the word uh, lah from right to left and from right from left to right we will come to the conclusion that lah and hal is the name of god because in the arabic if we go in the quran you will say it says al ahilla hilla the ahilla is the name one of the names of the crescent moon You see the Ahilla Hilal is a word mean moon, but speak about a specific kind of moon, the crescent moon. All right, 
So, uh, there is a very strong connection in the language between la and hal or hilla or ahilla. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Anyone? And by the way, again, the uh, there is many words in the Quran today in the Muslim they use, but they are using them wrongly. As you see here, the word ahilla, the Muslim they translate it as a moon. But when we see the word shahr in the Quran, which mean moon too, the Muslim they translate it as a month. Why? Because today is the word shahr is used as a word mean month. But this is not really how it is, because in the old days, the moon is the month. When a new moon, a new moon come is a new month. All right. When when the uh, when when uh, when the Quran came came in the moon of Ramadan, not in the month of Ramadan. When Suleiman he fly with the flying carpet in chapter thirty four verse number twelve, the his a flying carpet. One go, one trip, one going trip is the distance of one moon, and the coming back is a distance of one moon, which means in the speed, like how how fast it is. So this is not about one month as they translate. It is one moon. Yes, it is month, but it is at the moon. You know what I mean, guys? It meant a month, the lunar month, but it is the moon. They don't use the word uh, uh, shahar as uh, it's a moon okay the next moon let us make it simple in the uh, in the time of those people they don't say next month they say next moon you understand me next moon not it is not next month this is why the quran says whoever of you witness the moon of ramadan not the month of Ramadan. And by the way, here, as long as we are in this verse, chapter 30, verse 33, 34, you will see in verse number 13, it says something very funny and very weird. Did anyone notice what is the weird there? Anyone notice what is stupid in this verse? Who noticed? Let us see who is who is here is going to show us something there some, something very wrong until now I don't see anyone making any statement statues thank you so how do how Muslims they say that Allah is against the statues but Allah is ordering the genies to make statues for Suleiman How they say to us that Islam is against statues and the synagogue of Suleiman was full of statues. Hmm? Do we have any Abdul? And by the way, I like the story of the genie. By the way, uh, uh, when I have, uh, I was in the Middle East. All uh, all my family, we have genies. We own them. You know, we don't go to work. With genie, go to work. Yeah. This guy in the Quran, the story here about Suleiman, Allah, He gave him control of the genie. How He controlled the genie? Anyone remember how? Who remember how He controlled the genie? Who remember? <clears throat> <laughs> a ring the magical ring have you ever heard of so Allah he gave Suleiman a magical ring and uh, uh, you know what happened uh the Suleiman he don't go he don't go to uh, 
He don't go to the bathroom without taking his ring off from his uh, finger. And which is a mistake. I mean, why, Suleiman? Why you do that? Why you do that? I mean, oh, come on. You should be smarter. So what happened, Suleiman? He took his ring off. He gave it to his wife always when he go to the bathroom. Shaitan, he came in the look of Suleiman. And, uh, you know, uh, because he appeared like the look of uh, Suleiman, the, the wife she thought okay this is Suleiman so she gave him the ring and then when uh, uh, you know when when the shaitan he wore the ring of Suleiman he became the king the same as the Hurubutar you know I mean true story <clears throat> and then after that uh, Suleiman, he, uh, you know, he could not uh, get his ring until a funny story happened. Uh, the shaitan, he kicked him out from his kingdom because people, they start laughing at him when he claimed that he is the king. Um, and uh, uh, he went to work as a putter in the, in the port. And... Uh, you know, he used to carry like uh, when people they buy stuff, he carry for them their stuff. So uh, one day he was carrying a fish uh, to a man who bought fish, uh, and he told him, "If I carry the fish for you, how much you pay me?" He said, "Well, I will give you a fish as payment from the fish. You eat it." So the man he said, "Fine." So he gave him a fish when he took him home with the fish. When they arrive home, uh, the guy, he gave him the fish as he promised. And then uh, he went home to clean the fish. He opened the fish billy and he found the ring. He wore the ring. He became a king. True story. And by the way, if you don't believe me that this is a story, I can I can uh, I can grab it from the internet for you. If there's any Muslim, he's, he he want to say I'm lying or something. Let me let me grab the story for you. An account of Suleiman. The Muslim they call him Suleiman, not Solomon, right? And here they are quoting for you a verse from the Quran. Sheikh Al Tabari has narrated that Shaitan has made for a Suleiman one prasang long platform of gold and silk. Shaitans, which means Shaitans, they used to, Satan's, they work, used to work for Suleiman. They are his servants. And also they made a pulpit in the middle of the platform full of gold on which he used to sit and around him there were 3,000 chairs of gold and silver. In those days, the prophet used to sit on golden chairs. Mm -hmm. And that that time, guys, at that time, prophet don't sit in a normal chairs, in golden chairs, okay? Guys, are you sitting in the floor? I want everybody to sit in the floor. Bring your pop popcorn, okay? Bring your bring your daddy. Everybody, bring your daddy. Okay, Santa Claus on town. He will tell us a story. Okay. In those days, Prophet used to sit in a golden chairs, and the scholars uh, uh, sit on silver chairs. Uh huh. Around them, all the human, shaitan and genie, they are standing up. They stood. Bird, they stand, uh, uh, bird shade them with their wings. Okay. So what happened, brother? Uh, we, uh, Suleiman is sitting in a golden chair, and you have 3,000 chairs around him. Those are the scholars. And then after that, genie and shaitan and the human and the bird flying in the top of them to keep them in shade. Uh, that's a true story. Okay. By the way, I saw it myself. I, I swear by Allah. I mean, what? You don't believe me? I just swear by Allah. Come on. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> hmm. The breeze carried is it is according to the capacity of the sky for one month from morning to evening. So 
in a distance of one day the, the flying carpet of Suleiman can fly for one month distance but it is only one day you see how fast it is okay and another month from every uh, from every two morning which means to come back in other tradition it's narrated from uh, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir that Allah had give the kingdom to Suleiman from the east to the west and he ruled for 700 years and seven months I mean it's very important 700 years and seven months okay and seven days and seven minutes and seven seconds every man in the jinn and the shaitan and the devil and the bird and the wild animals were a subservient to his command everybody that's it the guy he was like man I want to be I want to be Suleiman for one day all right and he had given the knowledge of each of everything anything anything you ask Suleiman about it's like Christian Prince unbelievable even Christian Prince cannot beat that man I feel jealous in this time amazing wonderful miracle occurred where uh, each <coughs> is the memory of the people <coughs> I need water the lies became so big <laughs> you need water with those lies why guys why we have only 800 people I mean where is where is everybody come on share share the link come on it's an amazing story this is good for the Christmas this is my Christmas gift to you oh, okay anyway here like you know talking about uh, how uh, Suleiman army let us go to the business okay let us go where the story of the ring let us see if we can find it ring where is the ring story okay here we go <coughs> Suleiman rings had the following inscription purified is the Lord Wow who has controlled the genie with his words hello <coughs> are you there hello uh, yes I don't hear you my friend your voice is not coming <clears throat> you have a very bad connection sorry my friend sadly all right so obviously this ring of Suleiman is a magical ring he can control anything with his ring uh, let us see we want to go to the story of the ring okay okay Where is the story when he go to the bathroom? Maybe it's not in this page. Okay, hold on. Um yeah look like it's not here but anyway uh here you will see a part of the story hmm. he went to the market this is after after the shaitan they did not tell us the story about when shaitan he took the drink when he went to the bathroom and that's why i don't go to the bathroom no more my buddy I, and if i go i take even my cell phone with me you know uh, because you don't want to go to this you know to the bathroom and shaitan come to your wife even though I don't have a wife but I mean you never know shaitan I mean he's very weird so here uh, he went he went to the market and he searched for work the whole day but he could not get anything every day he come back and he said I couldn't get anything today the wife said doesn't matter tomorrow you will get something what is he talking about 
this is a different story uh the one okay doesn't matter you will find something that the next day again he used to go and repeat again the wife cancel and the third day and then he reached the river the bank he saw a person fishing he said to him shall i help you and return uh, in return you give me two fish the man agreed and so the man helped him in catching the fish the fisherman gave him two fish as his wages and so the man thanks allah then when he cut uh, open the fish he found his ring in the stomach of the fish and how this is how he came a king again <laughs> but this is a story different from the major story which is about uh, it's a longer story you know how shaitan come and he make him he cloned the look of Suleiman. he was in the bathroom the wife uh, her name is jarada uh, she gave the ring and uh, Suleiman and and how and how the wives later they found out that this is the fake Suleiman uh, because shaitan when he became Suleiman, he was very good in bed so he like he was so good like so good man and the wife like like the wife saying to themselves like what what happened to this guy look at him he never stopped having sex then then stop so the wives they told the elders about what happened to their husband that this is gonna be our husband what happened to him he never stopped having bang bang bing bong it's like a gun it's like a drill so when the wives they told the elders about that the elders and, and shaitan he heard that they discover his issue like he is because of sex he's too much you know so he decided to run and he threw the ring in the ocean not in the river like here in the story he threw the ring in the ocean and then a fisherman he was fishing and he fish fishes and then he uh, sorry man he saw him he said to him if i carry for you uh, what do you uh, give me he told him i will give you a fish true story hello <coughs> Hello. Okay, I seen you have a you have a very bad connection, my friend. Sorry. The the person who is trying, by the way, to call, he is an ex-Muslim. <clears throat> so we want to hear you, but sadly, it's not working. He just texted me saying he's an ex-Muslim. <coughs> so as you see, you know, it's a stupid story. And then the guy he go home and he found the ring of the, which is controlled the king, the, the kingdom with it. He were the king and then he became a king again and this is a true story and you have to believe in it if you are a muslim all right do we have any muslim have any objection about what we said hmm? anyone look how long the story man all those stories <coughs> so Iman each time he want to have each uh, Suleiman he want to have a children and each time he have a child she, uh, the angel of death he visits Suleiman and he take as a child and uh, <coughs> why why angel of death is doing that to Suleiman Anyone knows why? Because Suleiman, he is stupid. When he have sex, he don't say inshallah. I mean, how stupid are you? How will you do that? You have to say inshallah. Man. You have sex before you say inshallah. Are you stupid or what? This is not even right. I mean, if you want to read those stories here, you would have spent the whole coming week just reading those funny stories. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whenever Suleiman would go to answer, answering the nature call, which means to do shit, excuse my language, he would remove the ring and give it to one of his servants See here, they change the story. You see a servant. You see, I found the ring story. <laughs> oh, unbelievable! We found it. <laughs> unbelievable! So beautiful, guys. Do you want to read? The, do you want to see the story? <coughs> what happened to my voice?
this is why I say to you, go into the bathroom sometimes can cost you a, your kingdom. I mean, just because of excuse my language again, because of shit, he, he would go, he lost his kingdom, the poor guy. I mean, why you do that? Unbelievable. So each time he want to go to the bathroom, he take uh, his ring, he give it to on a servant. One day, Shaitan's fooled the servant and they took away the ring and wear it themselves. At the same time, moment, all the jinn, human, shaitans, birds, and animals came to his presence and obeyed his order. Order of who? Of shaitan. The shaitan who took the ring. I need a tissue here. I mean, this is how a drama is made in India. Zakir Naik, brother, are you are you crying with me, Zakir Naik? Right now, our brother, Prophet Suleiman, he lost his ring, and the Shaitan is is ordering the kingdom. <laughs> Did somebody give me some water, please? This is disgusting. Where was Allah? What happened here? This is, I mean, this is a, this is the perfect movie. Unbelievable, man! <clears throat> so beautiful, so beautiful. When Suleiman come out of the toilet, what? He come out of the toilet. All of this happened when he was in the toilet. Why? He was there for 10 days. <laughs> Look what happened. Human, jinn, birds, animals came to his presence all of this time when he was in the toilet. I mean, how big the popo of Suleiman, man. I mean, Suleiman, what's wrong with you, man? Human are coming to your palace. Shaitans are coming to your palace. Birds are coming to your palace. The animals, they came to your palace to obey you and you are in the toilet. And now the shaitan took over. Look like because he was a prophet, his poopoo is big. Mm -hmm. now, I mean, who is Suleiman? You think you think Suleiman poopoo is the same small as yours? <laughs> no way. When Suleiman came out of the toilet, he could not find the ring. Oh boy. And he saw that the kingship was then taken away. Even the flying carpet, his spaceship. So he left that place and came to the shore of the river. People of the Israelist saw the behavior of Shaitan, which was different from Suleiman. But he had changed his face to Suleiman's face. Look at the explanation. Look, look, look at the details, guys. You see, I mean, how the Shaitan, I mean, how he fooled them. He changed his face. He looked like Suleiman. And also, Claiming to be Suleiman makes sense, makes sense, mm -hmm. and had adopted. And people come to the mother of Suleiman and said, "Do you observe the behavior your son? How he had a change?" She said, "He is very good, obedient to me, but now he opposed me." Oh boy! This is the new Suleiman. This is the Shaitan now. Then they asked the wives and slave girls of Suleiman. They said he never fulfilled his desire. Guys, do you know what I'm talking about? You see, they are making the translation look nicer. They are talking about effing, bang, bang, bing, bong. Hmm? All the women he have, they are not enough for his penis. Do you see it? Do you see it? So the, the the wives and his slave girls they noticed like whoa, like whoa, what happened to this guy? Now stop, man. By the way, at that time Viagra wasn't exist, so like this is something fishy, man. This guy Suleiman, he's like non-stop. There again, there again, there again, then then there again, there again, there again. Hey, Prophet Suleiman, you want to eat a sandwich? I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I have to continue, continue, continue. There again, there again, there again, there again, there again, there again. They go to the bathroom. No, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. I have to continue. There again, there again, there again, then then there again, there again, there again. The Prophet Suleiman is having sex now. And when the Prophet having sex is like a drill. There again, there again, there again, then then there again, there again. Women after women, women after, and the fire is coming from their private part because he's like a fire man. There again, there again, there again. Hey, Prophet, do you want to take? Sleep, no, I can't sleep. There again, there again, there again. So they notice that this guy enough not never have enough. Unbelievable, beautiful story. 
not like men these days. I mean, come on. Here we go. That is man. Shaitan is the man. Hey, women, are you going to tr to change your dating profile? You are looking for Satan. <laughs> She want a man. He's like Satan, because here we go. Look what this guy he do. So the wives of Suleiman they notice that Suleiman, the new Suleiman, the Shaitan Suleiman, the face of Suleiman and the look of Suleiman, but his Shaitan, he never fulfilled his desire when they were in, even in their ministration. Unbelievable! He go crazy when he see blood. You see how filthy this idiot. Now he did so. <clears throat> so the shaitan was frightened. Shaitan and frightened. I mean, he is the king now. What is? And said to himself, said to him, it should not be happen that the secret become apparent, and I got caught. So he threw the ring into the river and ran away. Like what the heck? How you make such a mistake, you idiot? You are controlling everything by the ring. Just because they notice that your penis is a, is a is a disaster, this is why I say you have to control your penis, my friend. Here we go. Here we go. This guy, he was a king, the shaitan, and now he lost his kingdom because of his penis. If not his penis, nobody would know that this is not Suleiman. <clears throat> Too much sex will kill you. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim? Well, guys, why you want Zakir Naik? I mean, leave Zakir Naik alone. It's a, it's a, it's what what time now is in in Bangladesh now? It's really uh, in Malaysia. He is now in Malaysia, right? It's like after middle of the night. If we call him now, he would accuse me of sexual harassment. <clears throat> this is Islam. Welcome to Islam. This is Islam. We did not even read anything yet. If you continue the story. And then Allah commanded the fish to swallow the ring. If things is getting bigger, so Shaitan he throw the ring where? Read. So he, the Shaitan, he throw the ring in the river and run away. Allah is watching. Allah watch everything. So Allah command the fish, one fish, to swallow the ring. Fish, you who oh, Allah are you talking to me? Yes, oh Allah, this is an honor for me. I am the first fish you speak to me ever. Yes, you are a special fish, and what I will give you is very fishy. Please, Allah, tell me what is that? Do you see that ring? Uh, where? Uh, do you see that dust there? Dig, dig there. Uh, okay, let me dig with my nose. Okay, dig more. Um, I see nothing. Dig more, dig more. I uh, still nothing. Do you have a flashlight? Um, I don't have a flashlight. Let me go to Home Depot and be back. Okay. Allah came back from Home Depot and he got a flashlight. Okay, now we have a better condition. We can find it. Dig there, dig there. Do you see? Yes, it's a lot better now. I can see. Alhamdulillah. Okay, now dig with your nose. Stop moving your tail too much. You are making too much mud. Okay, sorry. Okay, you see, there's something shiny there. Uh, uh, this is a cell phone. Uh, not this one. Go, go, like, uh, go a foot away. A foot away. What is that? Uh, this is a plastic bag. Um, okay, human being corrupt my, my, my planet. How we will find it now? Okay, I want you, hold on. I'm going to go and buy metal detector, and I'm going to come back. Okay. Allah, he go to Home Depot and he came back with the metal detector. Hey, fish, I want you to hit that bomb. Oh, I don't have hands. Oh, I forgot that. Okay, hold on. I want you to bite it with your teeth. Okay. And now hold it, the stick, and move it over the sand. When you hear the sound, then you found the ring. Okay. Ah, I found something. Okay, dig there, dig there. Okay, there again, there again, there again, then, then, there again, there again, and the fish is digging, digging, and Allah is like, 
man, come on, find the ring for the sake of my shin. Find it. The fish is dig I'm digging. It's dig more. Dig harder. I'm digging. Are you watching or not? Don't you see me working? Well, what about you send some more fish to help me? I'm alone. Dig more. The mm, time is going. I am really tired. I cannot find anything. But the sound detector, he gave us a sound. Yes, you never know. It might be an immigrant trying to swim under the sand to go into Europe. Um, oh, you are mean, you mean like they are wearing like a, a swimming, uh, diving uh, gear? It's possible. They do it these days. Okay, let us dig in different place. To make the story short, it took Allah for five, seven years to find the, the, the ring location and the fish at the end found the, the ring and swallowed the ring. And now, the people of Israel, they were anxious for 40 days. I mean, the story happened for 40 days. You know the word 40 here? Jesus fast for 40 days. Mm. So the man, he lost his ring for 40 days. I'm, I'm something similar like some, okay. Mm. Okay. And they were searching for Suleiman. Suleiman walked to the shore, seeking Allah forgiveness. Now Suleiman is like homeless. His beard is long. He did not take a shower for 40 days. You can imagine you, how, how his jeans look like. I mean, man, I don't want to be Suleiman at that moment. After 40 days, he met with the fisherman. Took him 40 days to find the fisherman in the shore. Hmm. And they agreed that if he helped him in his fishing, he would pay him. He, you know, he would be paid. So they started fishing with the fisherman. He gave a fish to Suleiman. When he cut open the fish, he found the ring inside. Like, wow, unbelievable. It's my lucky day. I found the lotto inside. The, by the way, guys, uh, uh, if you want to win the lotto, if you want to be the king of the world, you better buy fish from now on. Don't stop because you never know. What do you know what is inside the fish? Don't buy a clean fish. Buy the one which is still closed because simply you might find something in her belly. We might, you might get lucky and you find the king of Suleiman because until now it's missing. I don't know. I'm trying to advise you. It's up to you, you know. Uh, by the way, if you find the ring of Suleiman, don't forget to make a good donation, all right? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> We continue, we continue with the amazing the true story. He took it out and wore it. And at that moment, all shaitans, all shaitans and a human and genie came together to Suleiman. If, 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 if. He sat in his place and cut the shaitan along with his army. If, dragon, 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 capture the shaitan for me. I'm coming. Here we go. I am Suleiman. I get the ring back. Get him and all the army start capturing shaitan, the army of shaitan from everywhere. Capture, 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 you know, like capture everywhere. Uh, by the way, I have a selfie during that day, like they were capturing shaitan. I was like, I capture and I take selfie. Smile, shaitan. Here we go. Selfie. You are you are famous now. You are in Twitter. <laughs> selfie, selfie. True story. This is a true story. So they capture shaitan everywhere, and then he imprisoned, imprisoned them. Do you see a prison? Yeah, by the way, uh, <clears throat> if you don't believe me, the Quran even confirmed that. If we go in the Quran, <coughs> Quran says the following. You know the Quran never lie. You know that. And come on. <sighs> Do you see it? Do you see it, my friend? Do you see it? Shaitan, they work for uh, Suleiman as diver. They dive for him. If you go to Hawaii and you are diving, you might see Shaitan, you know, still until now busy because he didn't know what happened to Suleiman yet. He, he, since then, he went down and did not come up. 
So some of the shaitan are imprisoned and some of the shaitan they are still obedience to Suleiman and they are working for him. You notice that until now, not even a single Muslim he call us, we have only one. Do you notice that? This is how much they are sure of their religion. Did we have a good time, guys? I'm not going to stay longer, really, because I'm, my voice is hurting me. And uh, I don't have the ring. I wish I have the ring. If I have the ring, I can fix that. But since I... Uh, my my grand-grandfather, we are Arab, you know, as you know, we are Arab, we, are all, we have a lot of rings. We control everything. Actually, you know, uh, by the way, we are the one who discover uh, uh, Australia. Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw a, a gallery made in Australia by the Arab they are saying they are the one who first discovered Australia mm -hmm. you know we, we discover Australia but we cannot discover the stupidity in our book that's amazing we discover everything algebra to algebra to is discovered by us the, the funny uh, the, the guy whose name Jabir ibn Hayyan is not even an Arab he is Yazid he is Yazidi he is from the Sabian they are not Arab they have nothing to do with Arab and they are not Muslims all the uh, the so-called scientists the Muslims are so proud about when they were alive the Muslim they were chasing them accusing them to be atheist or kuffar all of them with no rest hmm. do we have any Abdul <clears throat> anyone who is a Muslim when I call me Hmm? Who is a Muslim when I call me my friend who is proud about his religion? I'm sure that you know, this is a true stories all those stories and by the way Do you know that Suleiman he when he die? Uh, anyone knows what happened to Suleiman when he died who remember who remember let us see who remember just to show you how amazing Allah is Anyone remember? What happened to Suleiman after he died? Nobody knows I'm really disappointed. What happened to Suleiman? No. He died standing because he was holding his stick when he died. I mean, have you ever heard such a thing? The guy, he died standing. And he was holding his stick. And because of that, nobody knows he's dead. So he's standing up and he's dead. And the ministers and the wives and the soldiers and the army, they get in, they get out, they talk to him. He don't answer, but they don't notice he's dead because he's standing. I mean, this is logical. But how his family and the kingdom, they discover he's dead. Who remember? Anyone remember? Beautiful babies, who remember? And yeah, Abdul remember how Suleiman discovered or they discovered that he is dead because the termite, they ate his steak and then the steak broken and he fell down. Mean. And this is why I warn you not to let the termite around you. This is the true story. I mean, the guy is dead and he is <laughs> standing over his stick. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, we, we will continue tomorrow the story. I mean, I, I'm sure you guys, I, it, this is how they do it in like TV, you know, like they cut the series, like, the, like when it became so sensitive. You know, oh no, no, I have to continue until like is something have to do with sex. Because like right away the guy he take off his clothes, the woman she take off her clothes, and then suddenly they put for you commercial. Like da -da -da -da, to be continued commercial break. You know. Mm -hmm. 
Do we have any Muslim who believe in such a story? He can give us right away some call. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with Muslims. I did even, uh, uh, you know, I did I'd even sing Quran for them. And still they are not calling me. You know, by the way, there's something amazing about the Quran. Nobody can make Quran like the Quran. To the point even shaitan was able to, to give muhammad quran so you see shaitan what he do he gave muhammad quran muhammad did not notice yet nobody can make quran umar al khattab he made quran and allah take the quran of umar al khattab and nobody can take quran the goat of allah ate the quran and nobody can destroy the quran the ring of Suleiman is stolen by shaitan and shaitan he have bang bang to the wife of Suleiman and allah is watching i mean how allah allowed shaitan to have sex with the wives of Suleiman, man But <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry. By the way, when Shaitan he had sex with the wives of Suleiman, did make he did he make any of them bread net brother? I mean, you just said to me that he had sex with them. So what? I mean, he, and he fulfilled. He never fulfilled his desire. Man, this guy is a machine. Did he make any of them bread net? Let me make this uh, what is written in front of us, Quran. <clears throat> He was very good and very obedient. He was very good and very obedient. To me, and now we oppose me. me. That's disgusting. Oh boy, Quran is the best. Forget about the rest. Nobody can make Quran like the Quran. Not even Allah. And even Allah in the Quran, He says that Allah, He will make Quran better than His Quran. You believe it? Read with me. Allah will make us forget the Quran and He will make better Quran. And obviously, this is the wisdom of God. Look. Nothing, nothing of our revelation, even a single verse, do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. But we bring, we bring in its place one better or one like therefore me that's wise Allah will cause you to forget the Quran and then he will make something similar or even better that's beautiful that is so good hello no 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 potato okay say okay again again will you hang up let me call you back come on man why you do that to us? I want to hear it. La, la, ha, la, ha, ha, ha. I'm calling him back. Why you hang up? What a coward. La, la, ha, la, ha, ha. Say it again. La, 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 ha. Yeah. Okay. Why you stop, man? Sing it for us. Okay, come on. Let me call you back. Come on. La, 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 la. No potato, but potato, no potato, hey. No potato, but potato, no potato, hey. I mean, how? what kind of religion you say there's no God but God, man? I mean, you just said there's no God. Are you an atheist or a believer? What's wrong with you? No, ha, ha, ba, ha, ha. Ha, ba, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> da 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 what a crazy religion <clears throat> so none of our revelation we do abrogate or cause to be forgotten hello hello yes 
Hello, sir. My name is Rehan. Hey, Rehan. How are you? Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yeah, but uh, you know, I have to share something uh, with you, mm. and I hope you like it. But you are a Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to share with me, my friend? I just want to share. Basically, uh, I have to tell you something that I'm from Afghanistan. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> And uh, we have been in the uh, uh, under the law of Sharia law okay. in Afghanistan for many many years, for many many years. And uh, this slaughtering and killing people and like these things, uh, like every time, it just was like you know so uh, unacceptable for me. And uh, I had to left my country. That's the other story why I left my country and I, I arrived to uh, Paris. Hmm. And uh, where I come to Paris, you know, I met some Christian people and they were so nice the way they communicated, you know, I never seen like people like them, you know, so I, 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 I got really impressed, you know, and I studied about, I started to study about Christianity and that kind of stuff. So you have just showed me the path, you know, what is wrong with these people. And, you know, I, 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 I was always in doubt because the guy like me, you know, from Afghanistan, they they never tell you, you know, what's going on there, you know, not in, not in other countries like Afghanistan. Like uh, if you go to Saudi Arabia and other countries, you will not see the Sharia law as hard as as hard as it is in, Af in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. So all I want to say, you know, just thank you for what you did. I'm just going to, you know, what I have to do. I'm I'm going to do it. So you, so you, you, did, I'm you also, did you decide to leave Islam, my friend? I already left. I already left, oh, I, but oh. I'm so scared and I don't know what to do because uh, uh, you, you can understand my situation, I think. Okay, yeah, I understand. But, you know, as long as you live in Europe, you can, you know, just uh, uh, stick with the Christians, be around them, go to church and find, uh, you know, a, a nice community to be with and stay away from people who might do harm to you. You know? uh, um, I really hate, you know, I, I really hate, you know, because we, we are distracted, distracted from the very beginning, you know, how to live life and, you know, what we need to do. Free will, uh, I just I just saw your video about free will, you know, we have no free will. There's a people who just crying, you know, we like they are telling to the, 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 the rappers of like Mujahideen and that kind of stuff, they're doing jihad. Like I said, they, are, they are telling them, they are yelling that we don't need you, you know, we just leave us in peace, we, we want peace. But that, you know, the, the Sharia law is disgusting. But my friend, now, now you are out of this uh, free will madness of Islam because there's no free will, as you said. Now you are not in Afghanistan and you are now you accepted Christ already, correct? Did you accept to be, believe in Jesus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always, you know, just try to pray, you know, to just like, Father, help me. You know, I'm so distracted. I'm so, you know, and I even uh, don't have any friends here because I know, you know, they're all... Uh, Always, they are just saying this bullshit and that kind don't of. Don't have stuff. a friends from them. I mean, you don't have a friends. Find a, find a, find the Christian friends. You know why do not? You do not need to be with them. I mean, always there's a new there's community, and you are not in Afghanistan, so you can find people who they are. You know, uh, good for you. Uh, but yeah, but let yeah, me let yeah, me ask you, so like, nice. you decide to leave us now because you were watching my videos or before? Yeah, I'm watching your videos. I'm I've been watching the videos of uh, David Hood. Hmm. And there's also a few uh, people, you know, that were, I, I, you know, the important thing was for me, you know, I, I didn't really know about full of Islam, okay. you know, but uh, I've been watching videos and debating and, you know, just finding answer and then just thinking about and just trying to, you know, uh, collect the pieces and just get together and that kind of stuff I was doing. I'm not really stupid, you know, from the very beginning, I knew, yeah, like something is wrong with us, you know, something is going wrong. Because when we, mm. when when I was a kid, you know, we, our fathers and uncles, and they used to beat us, you know, to study and that kind of stuff. And they also used to tell us, you know, Islam has arrived by the power, you know, it's not came just like that, you know. So you have to admit whether you want or not. Yeah, I know. Um, well, did did you like uh, join any church already? Like, uh, sorry, my English is a little bit Did you join any church and where you live? Did you go to any church? Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I, I tried many times, you know, to go there, but I couldn't find anyone, you know. But uh, I'm willing, I'm willing so much, you know, to meet these people and just learn more about, you know, okay. Christianity. Well, there is there is many, and maybe uh, if you text me later where, where where you are, you know, but just just in private, yeah, uh, maybe I can find you something. Yeah. But there is many churches for sure, and you know, you need to learn the Bible, and then you need to, you know, we need to 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 uh, to denounce the devil. Uh, officially and do baptism uh, because baptism will really yeah. will refresh your life and will give you the spirit of God with you so I encourage you my friend and don't be uh, uh, don't fear anything I mean life uh, life is short and nobody can uh, you know I have no fear in my life you know you can imagine how many death threat I get every day right eh, I don't care I love but nobody can scare me there's a yeah yeah I know you you are good yeah yeah. I have so, to, so don't, just I be have strong, be strong, and then don't let anyone intimidate you, and do what is right for you. Yeah. And at the end of the day, what is right yeah. will be counted, and the rest doesn't count. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you, and uh, yeah. still you. you need to find a church to go to, and uh, you know, uh, a community you can be part of. Then they will be your family, and you know, uh, yeah. in life, our family is, know, not, is not really a mother or a father. Our family is those who they are good to us because. Sometimes yeah. even yeah. your close one, they can humanity. be ugly to you. Yeah, I believe in humanity. I believe in good, and you know, as long as I know, you know, the humanity, and they like, like they said, you know, the God loves uh, the the Muslim people like more than uh, seventy times. Hmm. Yeah, and well, when it comes to slaughtering and you know punishing people, you know, they don't even feel they just don't care about humanity and that kind of stuff, and that's that's it, it just broke me inside. Yeah. I'm, I, I, you know, I know that, you know, if if I'm scared, I'm so scared, you know. If I know that, if I, I I'm already, I, I already accepted, you know, uh, that I am, I was in the wrong path, and uh, but you know, if I uh, accept uh, Jesus, you know, I have, I, I've lost everyone, everyone that I knew before. No, who care? I mean, I, I, I you know, I, I'm willing to lose everyone I know in the world. You know, uh, as long as I am, you see what the benefit Jesus said. What the benefit if you win the whole world and you lose yourself? So don't worry about those things. You know, the, uh, God is our provider, and He always send you better people to be your friends. Look how big my family. Look, look. Do you see how many? Are those are my family. Look at them. If I say right now, who want to take me to his house? All of them, they will invite me. I have a bigger family than any. I mean, they don't don't think about this this way. I mean, this, this life is is God is is our provider, my friend. Is not anyone. Uh, you know, uh, I don't. I don't even think about tomorrow. Tomorrow come with good because God is good. So don't don't let anyone you know make you hesitate and don't let me anyone to you know to scare you. For you know you are doing I'm the right. Scared. Thing. No, I'm no, so don't, scared, don't be scared. I'm, no. I'm, I'm scared from my people. No, don't be. Stay away from them. Don't associate with them. I mean, like what do you have to? I'm with living them? with them. I have no other choice. You know, uh, they are uh, they are upstairs. I just came downstairs. You know, just to talk to you and so. And I'm talking so slowly. Okay, you but, know, this is, but this is temporarily. They, 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 this, is, this is temporarily. Sooner or later, you will find your place, and you will find a job, and you will work, and etc. Stay away from them. That's it. Live your life. This is temporarily. You are maybe this, you just came to the country. Maybe you're a refugee, and you are now in, in. You know. But this is temporarily. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, you know. And uh, I am asylum. Uh, when we are in a certain age, uh, you know, we are going through certain stuff. You know, we have different life, and then the Lord will provide us, and we and you go along mm -hmm. with your life. Don't uh, associate with them too much, and don't take to talk about if if you know they are dangerous. Well, like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. talk to them. You know, yeah. they always, always, always find, find, that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, find your way of life, find a job, you know, move out, stay by yourself, and stay away from them, and find a community fit with your belief, where you can enjoy life and yeah. be good. And at the same time, when you find somebody good quality, he is from your country, you can be the ambassador to, to the Messiah, and you bring that person. Because you know, I'm writing. I'm I'm about to write a book. I'm already start. I already started to write a book, and uh, I'm go. gonna I'm gonna expose everything. All right, good for you. Good for you, my friend. I'm yeah, really happy I for you. But be be, be strong. That I know. Be strong, and don't let anyone you know take you down. Be strong. Yeah. Don't uh, uh, being afraid is not shouldn't be part of your dictionary as a Christian. Be smart. The Bible speak about we have to be smart. Yeah, and we have to be smart, peaceful in the same me. time. So, yeah, be peaceful and be smart. So we are peaceful and we are smart. Yeah. We don't throw ourselves yeah, into yeah. into into the to the to to the fire and say, "Oh, the fire is going not going to burn me." So be smart, do what is right, and I we pray for you that soon you will have a better place to live in, 
and you will find a job you can support yourself you can stay away from those people and you can practice your faith and you know yeah. the, the Lord will provide you with better life yeah all right my friend uh, just 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 try to you know just try to find me some people you know like Christian good people so I can uh, catch up with them and just learn more you know to yeah. find my own path yeah don't worry my friend the Lord will be with you there were it was really nice to meet you and thank God you. bless you you're doing a really good job take care my friend God bless thank you take care bye bye yeah, you see, you know, for us, many of us, we think uh, to be Christian is something easy, right? Because it's, you know, you are born and in a country where your freedom is easy and, you know, you can go to the church right now, you can. But it's for some, it's, it's, it is really a different, a different story. If you go to Afghanistan, if you go to Pakistan, if you go to uh, 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 all those mad countries, even Malaysia, like supposedly they are moderate more than the rest, but they are going crazy, you know, the, 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 the more the more Islam go in a country uh, the more the country became a chaos I was reading in the news today uh, let me see if I can show it in the screen an actor she is wearing a hot short in Egypt let me see if I can find it Egypt is a country full of prostitutes and belly dancers. Yet, an actor, she wear a hot short. The whole country is busy about it. Some, they wanted to be arrested. They, they, they want to arrest her. Some, they want her to go to jail. Someone, you know, I mean... <laughs> I never saw... Uh, hypocrite countries and people are more than those people every newspaper in the country talking about the hot short of this actor but this is the country of Billy dancers this is the country and it's, it's nothing it's like you know look look this is this is the hot short this is the whole country the president talking about it the prime minister talking about it the minister the foreign minister the the police i mean everybody the hot short of Rania Youssef. Islam, wherever it goes, stupidity goes with it. If I type right now in YouTube, Billy dancing, what I will find? You will not believe it. Let me show you. Let me go to YouTube. I mean, this is supposed to be bad now, right? Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> All right. I just typed two words. This is what they do in the street. I wish I can play it for you. Literally, I wish I can play it for you because you can see how crazy this society is. Suddenly, everybody, look at this. Look, look. this is in the street. In the street. It is not even in, in behind doors. They put a stage in the middle of the street and women almost wearing no clothes. This is the official Egypt. And suddenly, a woman she is wearing a short became a story. I mean, this is a society which is sick, stupid. Wherever you go with the society, madness goes with it. This is a street. This is party in the street. <laughs> in the street. <laughs> Not at home. Madness. Oh boy. So, you know, uh, uh, when when a country turn into Islam, the country will become in the in the hashish mood. You know the hashish hash hash everybody is in the hash hash mood women are totally naked in the street totally wearing no clothes and yet when they speak about nakedness they speak about Europe most of the country take drugs 
scam is a huge business robbery is a is a is a is a lifestyle theft is a is a career but when they speak about dignity that's it we are the one who have dignity we are the one who have everything perfect if i go to right now to youtube and i type only one word just one i will type this word i will show you what i will type i'm not even searching for something special look what i will find this is islamic countries sexual dance legally officially in the most religious countries in the world women sleeping in the top of each other shaking their body in a sexual way and not even a single shake he even complained but if you try to preach the gospel in their country they will burn you alive do you see it thousands and thousands and thousands of videos i mean it's endless but you know you cannot talk about uh, islamic country don't have uh, they are they are we are very conservative do you remember the muslim who called me he says you know that we are muslim we are very conservative you are right I remember one day I went to the roof and I found you know like in the Middle East we have a roof which is made from concrete and many they make it like a garden uh, and I noticed that everybody in the neighbors they are changing the direction of the satellite I did not I don't know why but maybe something happened I don't know afternoon I went with the friends who they are like from my age we are kids you know young youth uh, teenage they said to me did you change the, the satellite I said what why they said all the porn channel they changed location man all the porn channel they changed location the whole country is in the roof the whole country is in the roof it changed in the direction of satellite because the porn stations they move satellite and now we cannot watch them this is how religious community is everybody wear everybody have a beard everybody is going to the mosque everybody pray five times a day but when the porn satellite changed location of the channels, everybody in the roof. And you know, uh, it's not a secret. I mean, uh, uh, men, uh, me, me, you, you uh, women, men, we can be tempted by women. This is not really, we are not saying that we are angels and they are evil. But I mean, they have a hypocrisy you cannot imagine. How many times you heard Muslims about your naked women? Go and see what they do. They go and see their nakedness. Your women are naked. By the way, since I put in women, they are dancing in the screen. I noticed that the number of the viewer increase it was like slowing down because I said I'm going to go the second I put those uh, screen women they are like you know you see like we have now 50 more people right away <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. and this is why Muhammad he promised them in the heaven that you will have women who they are very good in sex even Muhammad he said that Allah will import hookers from the hell who they are good in sex and he promised you a penis will never go sleep which is very important too if you read with me here it says Muhammad he swear by Allah says there is none whom Allah had admitted to paradise but Allah will marry him to 72 wives okay two from the holies so those are made by Allah waiting for you 
and then 70 from his inheritance from the people of hell okay who are they, those 70 those 70 are special insects and look what is their qualification take take a note please what is the qualification of those 70 women all of whom have a desirable front passages big breast <clears throat> i mean what i don't know what is your favorite you know you want that you like them big or small allah will giving you desirable vagina beautiful vagina the front is very very beautiful i, did, I don't know why he did not mention the back hmm. i mean what about the back of them so all the 70 women allah will import from the hellfire they are specifically they have a very very beautiful front passages the nipples, the breast, the vagina, the legs, the belly button. This is daif. Everything is daif in Islam. This is not even imagine how imagine is daif. I know they will say. And by the way, even daif is accepted. But isn't it the Quran speak about that? Isn't it the Quran describe the size of their breast? Is the Quran is daif too? Uh, what is that? Is that Quran or this is uh, Shish Kebab? What uh, volabatos? What volabatos mean? Is it is it about the breast? It should be describing the breast. The breast should be firm. What what does this word mean? I don't know what this word means in English. Somebody tell me what does this word mean? Let me so go to Google. I want to be sure what this verse means, what this word. Uh, curves. They are curved. They are curved. Ah. No, actually, this is uh, this is wrong translation. This is wrong translation, my friend. Uh, this is describing the size of their breast. Let us change the translator. You know what? Let us go to the interpretation. Hold on. Chapter 78, verse number th uh, uh, 33. <clears throat> and by the way, the English translation always try to hide the madness. And this is why Ibn Kathirian English is different from the Ibn Kathirian Arabic. <clears throat> Let us see. Do you see it? Do you see? I told you this is about about breast. You see how they lie. So the Quran describe how their breast look like. I mean, I will give you women who have full breast. Do you see it? To the point, those women, if they jump, their breast would do like this: boing, 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 boing. And you are telling me until now you don't want to convert to us now after all this boing 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 what kind of god he is describing for me the size of the breast of the women in the heaven boing huh 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 ah. right <clears throat> Any Muslim have any comment? This is a religion. If this is a religion, what is the devil? Kawaib. This is means round the breast. I was af afraid that they will be square. I mean, that will be horrible. I'm thankful to Allah. Please, Allah, thank you. They are round. I was worried, really, they will be square. Now, because they are round, we can play volleyball. If they are square, we cannot play volleyball. So now we have a good news. Allah, he confirmed that the breast, they are round. Mm -hmm. They meant by this, that the breast of those girls will be fully rounded and not sagging. Mean. 
sure not man you think Allah will provide us with women who have a sagging breast are you kidding me if I feel like now I released I was really worried I mean I want to convert to Islam do jihad explode myself you know my nose will be in a place my teeth will be in place my limp will be here my uh, <clears throat> you know will be in a place and then what you get what a, a sagging breast I uh, come on <laughs> come on no way <laughs> Allah will not do that to us brother we will give us the most beautiful breast the women they will be so good all right because uh, why they will not have in sagging breast because they will be virgin uh-huh and all of them they are equal age and now let me explain to you what does that mean hold on I have I have to use some uh, uh, images to describe for you what what the Quran is speaking about <clears throat> oh boy okay we we we, we try to find uh, some decent picture okay not something crazy it's hard to find a decent picture these days uh, no not this one mean those those are the breasts should be in the heaven man if Allah he knew about them he would take them from there right away he would make an order uh, hold on <laughs> okay Okay, we will take this one. We will not even show the face. You know what? Let us show the face. Who care? We don't mean the person we are speaking about anything. So imagine in the heaven of Allah. Let us say that this is the virgin. Huh? Now, obviously, she is beautiful. We have to admit. But imagine you have a heaven. All the girls, they look the same exactly like this girl. And Allah will give you a lot of them. What, what is the point? Why I want to have many of those who they have the same face, the same nose, the same eyes, the same lips, the same teeth, and even they sing the same song, and all of them, their name is Hur. Hur. All of them, they say, we are here. Uh, no, no, you, you. Hur. Me, uh, we are here. No, no, you, you, you. I mean, how I even I can call them if all of them, they have one name. So all the women in the heaven of Allah have one name, and they have one face. And they have one age and they have one size of a breast so imagine we have a website for dating in the heaven of Allah and all the women there they have one profile the same exactly copy paste the age equal age equal breast size equal eyes color equal name equal voice and equal songs and not only that in the heaven of Allah all men they will look like who who remember who remember anyone remember not only the women they will look the same even men they will look the same all men they will look like prophet joseph and all men they will be in the age of jesus 33 years and all of us we will be 90 miles tall and we will be very white by the way, I like to be 90 miles tall. And your wife, how much? 30 miles tall. I mean, I am 90 and she is 30. How we can kiss, man? Ninety miles tall? I mean, this is short. Oh boy. The only thing making me upset, I will be 19 miles tall, not 100. It was my like, I wanted to be 100 miles tall, but not 90. I mean, I'm really disappointed. This is not fair. What Allah will lose if He make me 100 miles tall? So, my friend, Islam obviously is a stupid religion, a stupid cult. And the God of Islam, because he's satanic, he tried to tempt you with sexual. And you know, yes, all of us we, men, men we like we, men like women, and women like men. That's normal. 
but God is not going to tempt me to be obedience by women if you obey me I will give you women okay and women I never met it's not like there's something special between you and this woman like a woman you have a feeling for her you like her and you know there is something special no it's just any woman a woman you never met a woman you have nothing to do with. you don't even know her name you never met her before she is there she have no panty waiting for you and it's very important that they are virgin you know you don't want to be you you don't want to have a used one and the funny each time you sleep with them Allah will make them virgin again which means Allah is cheating it's like buying a car have zero mileage because the dealer he changed the mileage in the meter so he will say to you see it has zero mileage but he changed the number because Allah each time you sleep with her Allah will make a virgin again If this is a religion, what is a stupidity? And I'm sure now many men they would like to convert now. I mean, all of us we want this man. <sighs> Round the breast. I don't know. For some reason, I thought that breasts of women are not round. I thought they look like the Kaaba. It's like a cube. But look like I'm wrong. I don't know. I just get a new information today. Allah will promise us round the breast. Why? The women on earth, they are not round the breast. Like somebody told you that women today in the earth, they have a breast, they look like uh, what? Like a tree? You know what? I, I really have a concern now. Maybe this is true. Maybe women these days didn't have round breast. This is why Allah, He promised us in heaven. Allah promised you in heaven what you don't have here. So there's no way women today they have women no mean oh boy who who would marry a used girl uh, your prophet all the wives of your prophet he married them they are married to many men before him the only one she she was a virgin is a, is a Aisha because she was a child so what are you talking about Hello. The wife of Abu Bakr became the wife of Ali. And the wife of Ali was the wife of a guy before him too. Which means the wife of Abu Bakr was married to other guy. And then married Abu Bakr. And then Ali married Abu, or the wife of Abu Bakr. Any Muslim liar? How are you, Abdullah Idris? Why you don't call me Abdullah Idris as long as I am a lawyer? Uh, Idris, do you like to call me brother? Do you like to call me? Call me and call me lawyer. Maria the Copt is a slave, you know, obviously a slave, she don't, she, you know, they are not virgin, they sleep with them at a very early age because they have no control of their life. They forced them into sex. All right, Abdullah. Abdul, Abdullah, he agrees, guys. He's going to call me now. Call me, Abdullah. I'm waiting for you, my friend. Just please be sure you ask permission from your mom before you call me. We are waiting for a brother, Abdullah, he agrees. Don't say but. What? But? Did you say but? Oh, hold on, hold on. I am really, really disappointed. You say, did you say but? Okay, I don't want to misunderstood what you wrote for me there. Look what Abdullah Idris he said to me. Do you see what he said, guys? Be my witness. He said the following. I want to do what the Muslims did to their Quran. What do you mean, but? What do you mean by that exactly? I mean, be honest with me. What do you mean? 
you want to call me you want to say to me you are a liar and now you are saying to me you a butt what you want to promise you I will not do uh, like uh, kick into uh, your uh, what do you mean what but uh, come on there's no but involved here you call me right now as we speak otherwise people will laugh at your butt I uh, come on be honest what but What's wrong with Muslims? But don't you want to get the breast uh, round the breast, brother? Brother, if you call me right now, Allah will provide you with round the breast, cube breast, uh, four square breast, uh, big nipples, small nipples. What do you like? I mean, my friend, we have a menu here. He will never call me. He's a potato. <clears throat> what you will take my call will you take my call my friend by the time you decide to call me i will be asleep just call me man i'm all and i am on air don't you see me people they can call me rife but will you take my call first he said but five minutes ago then after that he made a new sentence but will you take my call now after two hours he will say all right I think you just said you will take my call and then after two hours he will say I am thinking right now to call you and then tomorrow he will say let me open my Skype and the next Sunday he will say my Skype is getting in my internet is slow and then next Tuesday he will say finally I am online and in Thursday he will give me a call when I am not online You are calling me. I mean, this is a miracle. I hear nothing. Well, here we go. My Skype is open. I didn't see anything, any call from you. What is your call? Hmm? Where is your call? Ah, my potato. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Uh, Christmas is coming. For sure, we will open. Um, I will open maybe tomorrow and uh, from now until the Christmas for sure we will open more um, I hope we did learn something good today and I hope we will be able to answer your questions and as you see this is very stupid you know religion and you have to be really uh, you have to be mentally ill to accept such a God who is even going to down to the level is speaking about my breast and your breast and the size of the penises you see the Muslim they say to you like aren't you ashamed of the song of songs this is a man making a poetry to God speaking about a city and the Muslim they speak about it but they don't see in their book this is not God talking this is a man a king this is your God and even that king he is not even speaking about sex Anyway, thank you very much for being here. And for those, maybe we will not see them enter the Christmas. I will be here tomorrow, by the way. Don't, I'm not going. I'm not going because since I heard that there's around the breast, I cannot leave, to be honest. I'm stuck. That's it. I cannot even close this page. As you know, I'm a single guy. And the second you say those things to me, I like, I like, I get dizzy, like, whizz, round breast, round breast. I drive my car, like, I'm holding the steering. I don't see a steering. I see round breast. Round steering, round steering. I, I go in the street, I see cars, and they have tires. I don't see, I don't see tires no more. I see round breast, round tires. I, I, I go, I go, like, I go to the, to the store. I feel, I find, a, I find a, a, a uh, like you know uh, a candy and it looked like a uh, round or like see I see round ball round ball actually there's a guy in the Congress or senator his name is a round ball so I mean my this is amazing my, you cannot even you can't take it out of your head even you look at the apple I have an app uh, round apple I mean it's all over you cannot run away from Allah Allah he he, he show himself to him to you and everything look I mean look at the, look around you you, how you cannot get away? You see a balloon, round balloon. I mean, that's it. 
Miracle of Allah is everywhere. You go, you go on the street, you see a, a dog doing poo poo around poo poo. I mean, like it's it's a miracle. It's um, beyond imagination. That's um, um, I can I, I have no comment. Sorry, I cannot I cannot I cannot uh, describe for you my feeling and uh, how uh, how uh, beautiful uh, uh, to be a Muslim. And uh, I, I wish I can describe for you. All right. I mean, look at this round breast, and they are fully. Like not only round, they are fully because they might be round, but they are small. <laughs> but look, it's they are fully, and this is very, very uh, comforting. Uh, imagine they are round, and but they are not fully, huh? fully rounded, not sagging. I mean, pff, disgusting. <laughs> you will not have that, brother. <laughs> no sagging breast there. <laughs> good news, good news. Tell your friends, tell your friends, brother. Tell your friends. If, if anyone wanna take shahada, there's no potato, but, but there's no breast, but breast. Who wanna take shahada? In I swear in the heaven of Allah, all the breasts are round and no breast, but no sagging breast, but round. The new shahada of Allah, no sagging breast, but round. I'm not decent. Is your God the one is decent telling me about the size of the breast and how they look like? Is that decent? Me. Liar, I'm showing you in the screen, and he says to me, Liar. I mean, look at those Muslims. This is Ibn Kathir, this is your Islam, this is the Quran, and you are saying to me, Liar, are you sure, brother? A brother, are you sure? You see, whatever you say to the Muslims from their book, it's hurting, they say, Liar. Anything, anything, say Muhammad is a good man, they say, Liar, because this you are a Christian prince. Whatever you say, you will accuse you to be a liar. Liar, Muhammad was a good man, liar. He was not a rapist, liar. He did not kill people, liar. Okay. Uh, by the way, I just to let you know, I am seeing the lies as round lies too. Not only the breast. Even the lies, since I read this verse, I see them round, and they are round lies, not sagging lies. And there is a huge difference, but you can go to the dictionary, between sagging lies and round lies. They are different and more beautiful. I warn you, don't ever accept any sagging lies. We only accept and no, no refurbish. But the girls, they will be virgin again. They are refurbish. <laughs> brother, sister, in the heaven, brother, when we go to the heaven, brother, we are going to have a breath. They are not sagging. Imagine you go to the heaven and your wife to take off her breath and they are sagging breath. How did cutting? But thank to Allah. Allah is going to give a very beautiful and round breath. And the nipples, brother, the nipples, the nipples, like you hit the nipple with your finger, they make like boing, boing, boing. I mean, they are very, very beautiful and very round. And this is my dream. I will go to the heaven of Allah and I will get the, the, the breath with the alpha breath. Thank you very much. What do you want more? I mean, what do you want more? That's heaven. That is reality, my friend. This is real. This is what every human being needs. Who need? I mean, what do you need in life more than breasts? They are not sagging, brother. I mean, I feel sorry for you. You don't know what you are missing. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, CP. Um, mm. the thing you're quoting from right now, right? Mm. Mm. Uh, in Arabic, does it say sagging because they will be virgins? Sagging because they will be what? Uh, the, 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 around, uh, uh, about the breasts. Yeah. That they will be fully rounded and not sagging because they will be virgins. Yeah, because they are virgin. Yeah, because they are, because simply when women, they get older, when they mean by virgin, they mean they are very young. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know that, but... Yeah. And that also again says that it's childish. Yeah, because, are, because, if, are, because if, they are. Even if you have like a 16, 7 year old girl, if she's like a little bit fat, mm. her breast could also be saggy. Mm. Well, they are talking about the children who they are. This is why they are kawaii. But when, when, uh, when a girl, she just became, she is in the stage of becoming a woman. Mm -hmm. This is what he's talking about. They are very yeah. firm. They are very firm because she is not. Uh, uh, she is not a woman yet, you know. Mm. Yeah. Because I was, I was just wondering. 
because I, I kind of got in when you started talking about that. as like, what? <laughs> Yeah, this is but, what it is. But <clears throat> it's the fun, but I was just wondering because if they are virgins, uh, it hasn't anything to do with the size of the breast, uh, right? But but this is what he meant by uh, by the virgin. So it, it refers to young girls, very young. Yeah, this is why they are. This is why they are virgin, and this is why their breast in that look. You know, because okay. simply uh, their age. You know, mm. and actually he mentioned the word. Uh, uh, he, he mentioned the word age there. He, he did not even ignore it. He mentioned the word age there, you know? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Anything else? Okay. All right. No, I was just because I wondered that, about that. And then this Abdul out there, we, everyone heard that I called. No one heard him calling. So yeah, that was what I wanted to say. And it, to all the lovely people out there in the chat, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and you too. Thank you. Catch very much. you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right. You see here in Tafsir al Muqbas, he said 33 years old, but the fact 33 years old is for the men, for the male, not for the female. If we change, let us see. And buxom, median, buxom, median skawai. is a pearl of cab, equal age a trap, a trap, and simply help. How you know they're equal age because they are going to be very young. If you go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, always Ibn Kathir in Arabic is different from Ibn Kathir in English. All right, he said here, Kawaib Aina Wahid, which means their breast is coming out like you know, they are very noticeable and. Uh, they meant that their their uh, uh, their breast is coming out, and they are not going to be sagging because they are uh, virgins. And then he can explain the the word a drop. He says that they are in one age. All right. Yeah. Well, what you can say. Welcome to the heaven of Islam. Anyway, guys, I think we are done for today. I hope today we have a good education. Please don't forget to download the video, share them around, and don't forget to subscribe if you like this channel. And if you download my videos, don't forget, please, to share the link of the original source of the video, which is my channel. You will lose nothing. It just will take you a second to post the link. So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you, I hope, tomorrow, or maybe even tonight again. I don't know. If I get a chance, I will be with you. So until we see you soon again, I say God is good. And the good God is not a sex vendor. He is not women vendor. And heaven should not be a place which is a joy for men using women. Because the heaven of Islam, obviously, women are just sex toy. This God, he don't care for the feeling of the women, and he don't even care for your feeling because all what he wants is sex. What about loving a woman you want to be with? Having many, many women who you never met is just about about lust, about fulfilling a fantasy of a man he like to have many women in his bedroom. A man who love a woman, he will be with one woman. Even when God he created Adam, he created Eve, not Eve's. And that is telling you that Muhammad, he stole the story of Adam and Eve from different books, but he did not make it fit with the beginning because how the beginning was heaven and the end of the heaven is different heaven. How the beginning of Adam, why God, if Allah is the same God of Abraham, why the God of Abraham, he created Adam and Eve. But God of Abraham, or God of Abraham in Islam, he created Adam and Eve in the beginning, but he will bring you a lot of Eves in earth and in heaven. I remember, Muhammad, he blamed women that they are the reason for Adam to be out of heaven. So how you brought the reason who they are the one who made Adam go out of heaven to go back to be in heaven again? Why well, you want to have many of them? Muhammad, he said, if not Eve, No woman betray her husband.
as you see. And Muhammad, in the same story, he blamed the Jews for damaging the meat we eat, which means you have a refrigerator because of the Jews. And as usual, Islam blamed the Jews for everything. So the Prophet said, but if is of uh, for Israelist meat would not decay and but for Eve wives would never betray their husbands so as long as Eve is to blame for betraying Adam why you want to bring many Eves to Adam again in heaven look like happiness look like the happiness of Allah of Islam cannot exist without Eves but yet they are the devil Muhammad he said that the women she come in the image of shaitan and she leave in the image of shaitan So how she is a shaitan Yet you want to give us a lot of shaitan in the heaven How Islam describe women always as an evil person and she is Satan himself She come as a Satan she leave as a Satan, but then you promise me tens of thousands of Satan to sleep with me in heaven in the top of that, this beautiful Satan have a beautiful breast, round breast. I mean, how stupid that is. You will give me all those Satans with round breasts to sleep with them. Hmm. Very interesting. Stupid cult, garbage in, garbage out. With this, we say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. And Islam is a pure false from the devil. Thank you.